Hey, everybody out there! Welcome to E3 and Tur- three turn them three three of champions podcast. Are you? I really appreciate the stroke slash try of <laughs> trying to put an E three to whatever you're doing right now. Yeah, I'm trying to put a three <coughs> to any E, but then my brain fucked up where the E's were in enter tournament, and it put it before like in the N. I'm pretty sure I couldn't visualize the word tournament in my head enough to even do that gig. So or that, gig. <laughs> so I, I applaud you for trying. So this is the only podcast doing a top 10 about the E3 stuff from 2019. Yeah. Uh, don't Google that. Just, you know, just take it as fact from my You're voice. here because of that reason. Yep, so. exactly. Yeah. So we are doing a top 10 things where most, each of us individually are most excited for coming out of E3. Uh, three very different lists. Uh, probably some exceptions being the top spots, I would imagine, in some cases. So, uh, yeah, this is going to be fun. My name is Jeff. I'm joined by uh, JD and Kyle. You know us. It's been a hundred something episodes now, or eighty. I don't fucking. I lost count. Yeah. We're in episode eighty-three. Oh, just kidding. I did uh, eighty-three. E three. Yay! Whoa! Yeah. Let's back it up. It doesn't get better than that. Yeah, there you go. Because the eight, you could remove the sides of the right of the eight, oh, and it turns into an eight. Oh my god! Wow. <laughs> Alex wow. Jones is having a heart attack right now. <laughs> Frogs, gay frogs. Oh my god! They got gay all of frogs. Them. That was the last frog. They got them. <laughs> Look, Joe, do you want me to show you? Do you want me to show you a clone baby? What? I can show you a clone baby. I got fourteen minutes of clone baby. Always around my house. Helicopters. <laughs> They're spying on people. Me, Joe. Don't even look. I, be, I believe in Sandy Hook. Okay. I, I be, let me just say that. <laughs> <laughs> so weird, man. God, he's exhausting. Let me tell you something about Pizzagate. <laughs> Oh my, my, my Alex Jones kind of descends into Hulk Hogan sometimes. Yeah. So. Let, me, let me tell you we'll something, to move on it's, now it's, only, it's only coming out kind of Hulkish, so I, yeah. need to, I need to just drop that gig or gag. So, so uh, the order for this episode is, uh, JD, we're going to get your shit out of the way. And then it's going to be yes. me, and then it's going to be uh, Kyle. We're just going in terms of like most educated on this. <laughs> <laughs> the order of most educated on this topic. You not uh, wrong. Am I going last? <laughs> okay, whatever. It's fine. <laughs> Although I'm more invested this year because I can play these games. So. Yeah, I'm sure. Me too. Because I have a Switch too. And uh... oh yeah, I don't have one of those, but I've got a couple. I got, uh, like, I'm not invested. The exact there. game uh, that I hope would get announced didn't get announced, so it ruined all of E3 for me. So I'm actually. Oh yeah, that, that's what made Nintendo the worst one. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Made them all the worst one, really. Yeah. Didn't show me exactly what I wanted. Like, Microsoft, you didn't show me Fable. Kind of hate all E3 now. All of it. You ruined it for me. I'm really upset Rockstar didn't show up because they never show up. Yeah, exactly. They They just, they didn't, hey, you know what? They didn't decide to this year again, and that makes me mad. So, fuck E3. All of it. (laughs) Where was Elder Scrolls 7? Where's the new Bioshock game? I don't even, just They promised that a few years ago. We still haven't seen that. I'm upset. Cancel E3. <laughs> Hashtag fuck E3. So uh, in summation, we're all very upset by E3, and our top ten is just like the leftovers of what, you know, we're not upset by, I guess. Sure. Anyway, uh, JD, what's your uh, what's your number ten, man? And, and lighten us. Um, we're going to do, oh, sorry, I forgot to say. We're going to go, uh, you know, each number in order, uh, you know, like I just said, the order, and uh, we're going to number one, or number ten through uh, two, and then uh, at two, we're going to... After two, we're going to do our honorable mentions and then number one. Just for people that haven't heard us before, I don't know why you haven't, but, uh, you know. Not to be, like, you know, gatekeeping about our listeners, but, you know. Why haven't you heard us? Podcast fan revoked. You're starting right now? You're not a real podcast fan. Yeah, you're not a real. If you're, uh, we hey, can't if you're starting that. right if you're now. you're listening right now, thank you so much, and uh, wow. <laughs> I yeah. know. Uh, how did you get here? <laughs> yeah. Uh, why are we alienating people that are here? Like, <laughs> why, why are we doing this? Kind of our, it's kind of our thing. That's oh, okay. <laughs> uh, we, can, we can't get too close to you, so we keep you away. No, that's what we, we like that's keeping what we everyone out. Right, we're like Jessica yeah. Jones. We keep exactly. everybody out of yeah. distance. You know? Yeah, yep. exactly. Just take can't keep everybody. you close. Yep. Yeah, it's you know you can hire them, but you can't interact with them. That's yeah. what she's saying. Don't do that. I don't yeah. care how hot my neighbor is. I can't get close. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. He's so uh, hot for a former crackhead. What a, what a handsome man that man is. Handsome. All of them. And you know, everyone in that show is very handsome. It's very CW-like in that way. But whatever. We'll... It's, it's not Jessica Jones hours. So. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Well, uh, you know, good for her. Good for her for having a hot. Good for universe. her. Good for all that whole apartment building, apparently, where yeah. it's just sexy people just from top to bottom in the whole building. Good. <laughs> Anyways, go on. All right, JD, you're uh, number ten. So my number ten is uh, No More Heroes three. Um, I've talked about. Um, I think it was on like 2008 games or 
2007, something like that. I talked about the first one. I like that game a lot. Oh, uh, okay. So it's it's like eccentric. So it's kooky. Happy that you have um, this. On. I, it's not on my list because it's too stuff for me this year. But holy shit, I love this I game figured, so much. I so. figured you would have the exact same reaction. Like, thank fucking god. Yeah, thank, you, thank you, you so much for carrying the, the torch for this. Uh, totally. <laughs> Uh, uh, insert inside joke from the chat here type of game. Yeah, exactly. It's <laughs> it's uh, it's just fucking off the walls crazy. I don't even care about the gameplay. I just want to hear the ridiculous things that Travis is going to say. Um, so I mean, obviously, I care about that. Uh, Suda fifty one like, did like confirm you can still uh, jerk off to uh, to oh, uh, to charge your um, um, <laughs> with the charge. Wii. Charger. So yeah, yeah you, you can still play with the Joy Con. So you can do yeah. still do the jerk off motion I mean, to charge your. Everything. You didn't have to do the jerk off motion, but I'm not gonna pretend like that's not more effective than what the game actually tells you to hey, do. That's what the tutorial tells you to do. It kind of tells you to do that. It alludes to it, but like you can do it in multiple ways. You know, yeah. it's like a shake weight. It doesn't have to look like you're jerking off, but it's it's gonna look like you're jerking. Sure, off. you could stir the trough a little bit, I guess. You could, yeah. uh, but it's the know, most you, effective you, way. I mean, you could, yeah, you could spoon the cauldron, I guess, but like, uh, yeah, but jerking is probably the best way. Show, show, <laughs> uh, yeah, the game is just the right kind of ridiculous, and um, yeah, I, I haven't played the second one because I was away from gaming for a wee bit, but ah, get it, a wee bit, because it's a wee game. Uh, anyway, wee you, but <laughs> yeah, um, so yeah, that, I'm looking forward to that one. It was fun. It was one that I'm like, oh hey, I recognize that. I can get excited. Jeff, if you're not familiar with the gameplay, it's right up your alley. Uh, and you do not have to wave your arms around. This one you can use just regular controllers. Yeah, it's got buttons, button Good. stuff. Uh, it's just, it's just a, it's like a, a, a boss oriented, but like you're killing a lot of things on the way uh, type of uh, hack and slash game. So it's like God yeah. of War or yeah. you know something like that. Got you know Devil May Cry. Maybe not as combo based as Devil May Cry, but just think about that like stage based. You're killing a slew of enemies and kind of fighting kind of like a cool enemy at the end of it or a cool boss. It's 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 real, it's a lot of fun and it's very bombastic and crazy and weird. And Pseudo Fifty One is like, if Hideo Kojima was just like, fuck it, I'm making just comedy games from now on. That's who Pseudo Fifty One is. Like they're they're very of kin to each other and their and their weirdness and stuff. So, uh, very very cool. Uh, very I like the art style a lot in, the, in these games too. And just the universe is very funny. Like the whole idea is is that you're just some like nerdy otaku like kid like who uh, ordered a lightsaber online one day and decided he wanted to be the number one uh, mercenary or bounty hunter. I forget what it is like uh, that, that you're becoming number one of. But you have to kill the person that's who, who's above you. So he just starts murdering like all the, the people on the list. Like, uh, in it's power. like Kill Bill style, I guess. Yeah. It's like, yeah, yeah, you're just progressing your way up to the big bad. Yeah, exactly. It's fun. It's a, it's a good time. Well, that sounds pretty rad. Uh, yeah, when when there's more shit about it that comes out, I'll, I'll you know take a gander and stuff. Yeah, the, you didn't you don't get too much from the uh, trailer. Yeah, it's just a trailer, but like it, it relies know on expect. you knowing what the previous games were. Like, yeah, really you know does. what to expect. You know where we're going with this. You know yeah. where they're going with this. So. Exactly. I well, appreciate here we go with my uh, number ten. That's I'm gonna prep to push it. No, I'm just kidding. This is an indie <laughs> cuck title. Uh, so my number ten is telling lies. Anybody? Uh, yeah, push, no. Push it. Why not? I'm no, kidding. Don't I'm do kidding. that. <laughs> nobody, nobody knows. It. I could have been making this title up. Uh, uh, I'm pretty sure I know what it is. <laughs> yeah. That would have been very on the nose of a title to make <laughs> up because yeah, you'd be true. telling a lie. Yeah, yeah, right. Like I'm Absolutely. doing it right now. Ah, <laughs> oh, man. This is a this is Sam Barlow's follow up to uh, her story, which uh, was pretty pretty goddamn interesting of a game. Uh, where it was just like it was just a couple hours of a game, but it was like uh, he made it like himself, and it was like just video clips that you're going through and you're trying to figure out um, through inter- interview footage or whatever you want to call it, interrogation footage of this woman. Her well, story's award winning, right? Yeah, isn't it, isn't yeah. Isn't it sweep? Or not won, sweep, like, but it got a couple of awards and stuff yeah. like that. Yeah, because you're trying to find out like what uh, if she's guilty or not of, of something she's accused of or whatever. Um, so telling lies is that, but like expanded by like apparently it's like four or five times longer and it's got actual names and faces that you'll recognize in it like logan marshall green is in this and oh. um actress who played storm in the new shitty x-men movies um, uh excuse you sir oh sorry they're not shitty <laughs> <laughs> no they are uh, excuse me <laughs> Uh, the, the 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 what's her name from uh halt and catch fire donna whatever oh uh katie uh B- Bish- totally. Bishay? Something, Bish- Carrie Bichet. Yes, yeah. yeah. She's in it. And then that one uh, droid awesome. lady who's very attractive uh, from uh, Westworld. Um, I don't... 
I don't, oh, I don't uh, remember her name at all, but she's Dolores like one of the or one of the other ones. Ew. Who, oh, uh, oh. I don't know. Shit, she plays Clementine, right? Clementine, not not yeah. May, right? Yeah, I think Clementine's I think that's the, the one that like yeah, she's all skizzed out. And yeah, all anyway, that's the point is that you guys would recognize these faces in this game. And you'd sure, be like, How sure. the fuck did you get these char- these uh, actors yeah, in this? It's a uh, super in this little game? indie game. How did this happen? Yeah. yeah, exactly. So, yeah, you're basically going, you're like stopping and starting, like re rewatching footage over and over again and trying to decipher who's telling the truth and whatnot. And that's apparently cool. there's multiple point of views and stuff like that. Um, so, yeah, I, just anything outside of the realm of like normal quote unquote gameplay. I'm just yeah. I'm on board with this shit. I'll I'll play it, and uh, I'm pretty sure it's yeah. It's just, it's just like her story. It's gonna be just a PC only game. Cause how do you? I, I guess I don't know how you would transfer that type of gameplay over to a console. Cause it's a lot of clicking and minimizing windows and opening videos and stuff like that. It's almost like you're on a pseudo desktop, like clicking videos. It's not. It's not like actual gameplay. <laughs> But the game, you know, it demands you to think and shit. So that's, you know, whatever. I'm, I'm on board. Shut up, guys. I hate you. All right. Yeah, seriously. So uh, Kyle, was, what's, I, your, uh, what's your number uh, 10? Uh, my number 10, and it's only because I see through all the bullshit that uh, Square Enix is doing right now. It's Final Fantasy VII. Sorry, everybody. I know it's some people's game of the show, but uh, it's my number 10. Any pushes? Can I just no, talk no. about this one? Good. Yeah, uh, yeah I'm it. not a... I'm not... Good. Um, I just haven't played the franchise, like, at all, ever. Uh, well, I mean, well, this one's going to be kind of fun. I mean, it's yeah. going to be another action game, so, I mean, it's, uh, you know, it's not, like, turn-based or anything like that, so... Yeah, I could play it, and... Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, it's playable. Um, for me. But uh, yeah. I don't think people realize that, like, this game's still episodic, <laughs> uh, and, the, and the creators have been very clear about going, oh, yeah, we don't know how many episodes it's going to be. Oh, we haven't even started on the second game yet. Okay, so y'all have no blueprint. <laughs> you just like made this game and put it out, and you're like, "Well, I hope they like that." Uh, and they're like, "Just if you're reading interview, it, this is a really troubled thing that's going on here." But it really fucking showed really well. I was pretty wowed, and I'm not a Final Fantasy VII like cuck boy. It's not even <laughs> on my top five favorite Final Fantasies. You know, it's it's not up there for me. Uh, so like me being pretty impressed by the showing, despite even all of this, like all of the, it's really negative out there. Not, not the people who are getting their hands on it and playing it, but like just the story of production and how Square Enix is handling this and everything. It's pretty awful. Uh, but boy, that combat system looked real cool. (laughs) Uh, so that's, that's why I made my list. I mean, it looked, it looks really good. Uh, you know, it's, uh. It's got some really good combat, it looks like. Uh, You can make it kind of turn-based, where you can stop the action and kind of choose what you want to do next. Or you can just hotkey everything, so, like, it works like any other kind of combo-based game. Uh, So I'm, uh, you know, I'm I'm, I'm excited for it, but, uh, you know, it it ends at Midgar, which, uh, that's like a, that's maybe 10 to 20 hours into, like, a a 60 to 80 hour game. So, and and they're saying this has as much content as another Final Fantasy, so you're you're thinking 40 to 60 to 80 hours, you know, uh, depending on how much you do all the side stuff for this game. So they stretched out the first 10 to 20 hours of that game into this, like, 40-hour, I can only assume mess. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, They they say that they're blowing everything out and going deeper into things. It could be really cool. I don't really know, but uh, I'm just very wary. And uh, if you're very excited for it, just please don't just... You know, be excited, but just I don't know. Don't don't get mad when you realize that like uh, this. You know, things are not going the way you wanted to for this Final Fantasy VII remake. But uh, again, boy, that combat. So. Yeah, it showed. Like you said, it showed really well, and it got me yeah. going. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get this game. Yeah, so, right. You know, yeah, yeah. So, number ten for me. I get that. I get that. Why it's uh, why it's that low. I get it. You hate it. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, I hate it exactly. I hate yeah. it. Uh, JD, what's your number nine? Uh, because I like torture and um, all that shit, I put Elden Ring at number nine. Oh, we synchronized. Um, oh, cool. Congrats, um, congrats, you guys. Yeah, I'm yeah. eager to see what the fuck this is, other than like a, a name ripoff of other things that we've had before. <laughs> um, I love how George R. R. Martin just gets away with it, and I assume <laughs> it was his doing. Like, everything oh, sure. is just so obviously one-off, but he does it with such like care, I guess, for actual fandom that it doesn't bother me. Uh, he's because he's not even trying to hide it, uh, with uh, like his Lord of the Rings love and all that other shit. But yeah, and it's very uh, el- like it's Elder Scrolls too. It's Elder Scrolls. Like, oh, it can't yeah. be a scroll. He's like, well, make it another ornament. It, then. Yeah, I don't know a like necklace rings. or a ring. Yeah, you know, yeah. I like rings. And there's one of them in there. <laughs> <laughs> the and there's rings in here. So yeah. ah, there you go. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I'm I'm intrigued because uh, this is with the the Dark Souls guy, right? 
It is. It's from yeah. From Software yeah, and Miyazaki. Yeah, so. Miyazaki, so. Uh, who knows? Uh, it's. I, I just figure it's going to be fucking torturous. And um, I, I've never played Dark Souls before. Um, I haven't, well, well I, I, I take that back. I have them, and I started it, and I I think I played it for like forty five minutes and never went back to it because oh yeah, you that was more, so fucking bad. You got to put in more time than that. Uh, but I yeah, I think now that I'm a little more because uh, that was on PC, didn't really deal with the complexity of it there. I think on console, I'd be a little more. It feels um, good on a controller. I can't. Yeah, I, I think I think I would feel better with it there. Um, so we'll see. But man, yeah, excited uh, for this. one. So I did more diving on this one and got some more info on this one. It is an open world game. Uh, it is um, it is very RPG based. It's not going to be as demanding. It's going to be much more forgiving than the Soul series. Uh, it's still going to be hard. Christ. Don't get me wrong, but I'm like okay it's <laughs> it's it's like it's um, you know it's more like an open world game. You know, so like it's going to be uh, not. I don't want to say digestible or palatable. It's just going to be. Uh, I think more people are going to be into this one, and George R. R. Martin's going to help out with that, and I think he's going to really create a cool story, and you get glimpses of what that story is, like in that trailer where this ring got destroyed in a very Lord of the Rings-like fashion, but right. this time it did the opposite. It looks like it released evil or something, so... Um, yeah, I'm I'm interested to see how this unfolds, and uh, it, it, they've been working on this since Dark Souls 3. I think there's a couple teams over there from software, uh, so... Uh, we may be seeing this pretty soon. You know, again, the next generation starting soon, guys. It's starting next year, so yeah. a lot of these games have to be coming out before next year. <laughs> so not before next year, before like December of next year. So right when these other consoles launch. So um, you know, I don't think any of these are going to slip into next gen. I think they're being built for for now, unless they were set otherwise, like Halo, which just looked okay. That was next gen graphics, guys. Were y'all impressed? Yeah, it was. You know, it was good. It was. <laughs> it looked good. It, it just you know, I'm you know. I'm not like, whoa, look at that. I'm whoa. sure if I saw actual gameplay, I'd be like, holy shit. Yeah, right. But maybe, maybe. That, but, the, so. the, 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 but the siege, like, you know what I mean? Like the computer graphics, I was just like, I mean, yeah. I mean, the, see, the, yeah, it just looked like a it looks Xbox good, but it doesn't, game. You know, it doesn't look like next gen. I don't know. I didn't get wowed yeah. by that. But boy, no loading. So. <laughs> That's the thing with, with the with the next gen stuff. It's it's <laughs> We're literally splitting hairs at this point in quality. Like, yeah. You know, yeah. It's the next step up leap up is like real life shit so yeah I, it's just like <laughs> we're never gonna get any closer than we are right now I don't yeah. think so. <laughs> basically they're turning their consoles into pcs and right like now they're like well, we can't make shit. graphics better so no more loading how about that we're yeah. all like all right that all right, sounds cool. great i'll take it yeah i'll take that yeah <laughs> uh so my number nine it, it genuinely is probably a push i, I, I don't know uh it's vampire the masquerade bloodlines 2 i cannot believe i didn't put that in my list but uh Please talk about it if JD's oh, okay. not pushing it. Okay. Uh, I am unfamiliar with this one, I think. God damn it, JD! Jeff. I sent you an interview to watch, JD. <laughs> I, uh, and, yeah, and, and Jeff was like, "I know all about this game," and I was you like, got, well, "Maybe, maybe JD will watch it then." You know, you've got you've got two choices. Do you want definitely never saw it, or I I did and <laughs> forgot? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, man. That's okay. It's okay. No, yeah, this uh, one, I, uh, I don't think I. I don't Jeff is gonna hype us up properly right now. I, anyway. I hope so. God, hype me uh, the this fuck one, up. This uh, one showed at the PC gaming show, which, by the way, had like a really good conference and like it that was just great. under the radar. Uh, they showed a bunch of really good titles. Uh, but yeah, that's where this one I think showed on the actual on an actual stage. And uh, yeah, this is like a first person vam vampire vamp vampire whatever you want to call that other game that don't nod did, don't don't nod. Uh, so this is uh, very similar, actually, to the Vampire uh, in terms of uh, all of the, uh, you know, like the RPG aspects of it and um, the choices that you make and how it impacts the world and how it impacts people that interact with you and stuff like that. Uh, you start as like a th uh, what's called in the in the game world a thin blood vampire, which is like you're kind of like a newborn and a um, yeah, you're a noob vampire. You're not all that strong. Yeah, and you can still consume food and your your uh, human food, and you're still not like um, you can't you can't yet burn up by the sun yet. Uh, so I think the the journey of the game is like you start there, and then eventually you become a full blood, and you join one of the. There's like seven clans of vampires. In yeah, this game. The, the clan. This is kind of like how the first one was, which I've done some research. I haven't played the game where like it's this game's all about allegiances and loyalties and yeah. 
and it's Game of Thrones with vampires. It's going to be really cool. Yeah, and and <laughs> and it's like all those other ma- monsters that you know from from vampire lores that we're familiar with. There is it's in the game too, like werewolves. Yeah, and demons. werewolves and stuff. But it's all yeah. present day too, so it's yeah. not like Victorian era. Like no, I mean there's cell yeah, phones like and shotguns. World, yeah. yeah, and you use shotguns and swords and shit like that. Like it's a, it's like there's a cool combat system going on here. Some cool hand to hand stuff going on. I uh, like how there's a like uh, action shot. So like whenever you beat up a guy. Like, it'll go into third person. You'll, like, flip over him and, like, kick him in the head as you flip over him and then land, like, on your feet. And then it'll go right back into first person. So there's a lot of, like, third person action shots in this game as well. Um, yeah, it's cool, man. Um, yeah, it looks really rad. It, like, I, I just feel like this is a little bit more ambitious than uh, than Vampire was. But Vampire had, like, a smaller team, I'm pretty sure. I, I, don't, I actually don't know. I've never heard of this developer, so... Um, yeah, this is a bigger team. So um, they, they the first again the first ones are really beloved. Um, yeah, you know, which uh, makes me surprised I hadn't RPG. heard of it before. <laughs> it's, I mean, yeah, and I'm surprised I never got around to playing it. I think it was on the original Xbox. I'm I'm not quite sure. Oh, I can't that's remember. how old it is. I know it was on the PC. I know it was on the PC as well. But um, oh, but yeah, it's like it, it was. Yeah, it kind of wow. rained. It kind of rained uh, uh, right after the time that like Deus Ex, like you know, like it kind of had like the sci-fi RPG like down. Like this was like the vamp. You know, like there was nothing else like it at the time. It was a fucking vampire RPG. Um, and yeah, I were back to that. I don't remember any uh, any game around 2004 before that would have ever had that me- like type of gameplay or mechanic or something. Oh right, yeah, not like this. Yeah. yeah, that's that's crazy. So it's like the originator of it, I guess. Yeah. It's pretty rad. Yeah, hella excited for that. It is coming unlike... Uh, it looks like the first Bloodlines was only uh, PC for some reason. And this oh, is, so it uh, wasn't... Okay, it's just PC. Okay. Yeah, that's probably why they showed it at the PC gaming show. But yeah, it is coming to consoles too, the Xbox One and PS4. Yay. Uh, so, uh, Kyle, your number nine was El- uh, Elder Ring. It was uh, not Elder Scrolls or Lord of the Rings, yes. Okay. So, uh, JD, what's your number eight? Um, I, I'll, you know, a lot of people listening are going to be surprised that I have it this low because the reception around this game has been fucking great. You guys probably pushed it or will push it. Uh, I put the Avengers game at number eight. We synchronized. Or put, we I'm synchronized. Pu- pushing a little bit. We synchronized. Oh, a little, little bit of a push. Okay. And actually, right. the reception of that game is awful, so. Yeah, it's yeah, been exactly. so bad. <laughs> yeah, it's been very poor. Yeah. But we love one it. Day, one day they go, we will not change the characterizations of our models. The very next day they go, well, because of the backlash, we're going to change the characterization models. I'm like, you see what you've done, everybody? You see what you've done? Like, you did this to Sonic. You know, you've done this to this. Like, I don't know if, like, do they, things Do they want them like, to change races? I don't understand how you can make them look I don't know. I think that everyone wants them to look like the movie. Everyone had the same complaint. Well, they don't look like the movie, guys. Well, yeah, it's not the movie universe. Yeah. yeah. Or, or another one I saw was, uh, they just look like cookie-cutter versions of our heroes. I'm like, well, no, they just look different. They like, look they like don't. The comics, I don't understand, which is what I, the movies look like anyway. Well, like, so what? Ta- Captain America's, like, comically big. Like, I don't, like, it all kind of, it makes sense to me. I don't know. I don't know. I don't get any of it. But, uh, anyways, I guess we're pushing it. We'll get to it. Yeah, yeah just, just for a little bit. Uh, so, my number eight is uh, Genesis Noir. This is uh, one of the made up indie titles that I put in here. Um, <laughs> I think, I don't even know if Jeff actually watched E3. That, he just, um, just that's a push for words me. together. That, is, is it that's really a push? A push? No, it's not. Okay, that's what I fucking thought. God damn it. Um, so this one is, uh, this is a, well, as the title alludes to, it's a noir game where, like, it, you start at the beginning of the world, pretty much. But uh, the way it's drawn, if you guys just look up screenshots of it, you'll be pretty blown away. Like, the way it's drawn, it's, like, black and white. And the, oh, yeah, like, the white is, one. like, super neon. And, and it's almost, like, Picasso-esque painting sometimes of, of, the <laughs> stu- of the settings that you're walking through and stuff. But, yeah, it's, like, a platformer of sorts. Um, and, uh, you're, like, exploring, like, black holes, and, and there's, like, jazz music and shit like that, and, uh, uh, just all the right buzzwords for me to be invested in this game. Uh, that's the only reason it's not higher. It's kind of like, well, I mean, there's not really, like, a deep, deeper, like, story, or, um, it, it's, it's a totally original game. It's not, like, something that came, a sequel that came before it, which would typically get me more hyped for a game. So, I'm just, you know, I'm just excited for it, because it's all the Jeff buzzwords and stuff. This is, a uh, this is the equivalent of uh, Kyle, uh, you know, name dropping a Japanese title or whatever. So, for me, um, we all have our things, I guess. Whatever, that's fine. <laughs> I'll be playing it with my pants off, is what I'm trying to say. It's uh, it's it's funny because uh, we were making a lot of jokes, and I'm looking at my list, and I don't think I have one single uh, Japanese game on my list. Here. <laughs> oh, <that's so> funny. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. We'll get there. Yeah. <laughs> that's hilarious. Uh, yeah, yeah. Shit. It's funny because I thought I did, but the list has changed so much over the morning. So. <laughs> 
That's great. Uh, yeah, I can't wait for it. I, I don't know. I, I'm pretty sure. Uh, I, I'm yeah. I'm just not sure where where it's coming out on. I I don't even know where I saw this on. Was it on the PC gaming show or on the kind of funny indie game showcase? I can't even remember. Uh, I think it was. Oh yeah, I, I I don't remember. I think it may have been PC. I think you I don't might know. be right. I think I just saw it on the PC list. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's on the PC gaming list. Yeah, because it stood out to me, too, Yeah, when it was showing. I it, was like, well, look at that one. Yeah, it looks like a game that could ser- be served well on the Switch, but uh, I don't, it, I'm don't. i not sure where it's coming out. I, I can't really find any info on that right now. Um, other than PC, obviously, because it showed there. Right. But, uh, <laughs> PC uh, games that do pretty well tend to come to Switch if they're indie games, so yeah. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm hopeful. So. It, it looks like, yeah, it's just on Steam and probably Epic Games because every fucking game is going there now. Uh, it, it looks like it's just for PC right now, but like you said, you know, if there's more success o- uh, off of PC, it ends up going somewhere else anyway. So, uh, But yeah, that's my number uh, eight. So, uh, Kyle, your number eight is Avengers, right? I got pushed, yep. Okay. So, JD, what's your number seven? Um... I put that uh, that one game that you like a lot with the physics. What's it called? Oh, Control. That's right. Duh. Oh, push. Oh, that's getting pushed. Push because I know it's getting pushed for Dom. What's wrong with you? Yeah. Fuck yeah. man. Oh my god. Look, I love, I love the song <laughs> play over him talking right now, so I don't have to listen to it. I told you my top five was cucky and obvious. And, you know, we're getting it's close. It's not if it's not up there. If Control's not up there, it's not cucky or obvious. Okay, I'm sorry. I've, I've, I lost it there for a second. It's sorry. funny that Control I, showed like one time at like Square Enix or something like that. I I I, I remember seeing like just a random trailer, a release trailer. And uh, then all, all, all of my hype from it has been coming from, like, interviews with the dev and, and the gameplay oh, demos. They're selling the shit out of this game. Oh, yeah. And it looks polished. Like, this is, like, the oh, only, in my so opinion, good. the only game that when does look genuinely light, look ready for release. Like, the levitation looks so... I'm like, dude, let me in on yeah. this. <laughs> <laughs> it looks so dope. Uh, we'll get there. So my number seven was the slight push. It was Avengers. Uh, oh, okay. Okay. look at that. We're, I think we're all appropriately hyped for this game. Yeah, yeah it sounds yeah. like we're... I mean, I wanted to come out of E3 going like, oh, this is my number one, but the fact that, you know, gameplay is like only like a shitty leaked whatever over the yeah, shoulder camera yeah. and it's like really horrible quality. That's like the yeah. only version of gameplay we got and the game is right, not right around the corner, but it's like a year away um, and probably getting delayed, but whatever. Uh, <laughs> so I, I do wish we saw a little more and then I would have gotten reasonably uh, hyped about it, but um, I feel like what we did see, the fact that we we know that it's an original story, we know that it's like the the voice cast is basically the Avengers of voice casting and, and gaming. Uh, sure. So I mean, all of that stuff they checked those boxes for me, and and the fact that it's like multiplayer, it sounds like the, I I think I re- did read somewhere that the campaign is single player. Um, yep. So it's so kind of similar worked, to the campaign levels are single player, and, yeah. and as you saw how the spectacle was working, where like all the character was there, kind of weaving in and out. A lot of the campaigns probably going to be like that, with some levels being maybe solo characters, right? Kind of having like their own like part of a mission or whatever. But then you go on missions, and those missions are multiplayer. Yeah. So I don't know how any of that works, or if you take your character from single player into multiplayer. I'm not sure how any of that stuff works, but uh. Uh, these missions sound like the thing that they'll just keep on adding on to, you know, right, kind of right. past, you know, which is free, which is what they say. That's yeah. the thing. They, they said there are going to be microtransactions in this game. They'll probably be like how Destiny works. You know, you can buy like the in-game currency that only buys emotes. and. Yeah, it's just going to be for uh, cosmetics. Right. Yeah. Cosmetics. Exactly. Not required to actually play the game, which is good. Yeah, exactly. Even exactly. though people hate it no matter what. Or they, they, said the, they said the M word. Ah! You know, like the people... <laughs> It means so People many get things. People so triggered gosh. by the microtransactions. Yeah, let them like, explain what that means. Like, if it's cosmetics, like, what the fuck does it matter? Yeah, well, he right. looks prettier than me, and I, I don't want to spend money. Well, that's why he looks prettier. He spent money. So right. yeah, that's 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 a pretty that's, logical transaction. Yeah, me, so. exactly. <laughs> and also microtransactions. Hey guys, not required. Not required at all. Just not, don't, yeah. hey, you know what? Just don't participate. Yeah, yeah. yeah. but every time I go you. by her, she yells at me to buy stuff, and I'm like, ah, stop it. <laughs> oh, I just, I'm, maybe I should, and I know I should. Just think for yourself, you know. Like, I did don't. like what I heard slash could gather, I guess, from the uh, the leaked gameplay. Uh, but yeah. it, in terms of uh, in regards to like how how each character moves differently. Like it feels like Thor's combat is more God of War based, and Black Widow is more Arkham based. Uh, uh, the thing about the guy who uh, did uh, the combat design of God of War is actually working on this game, so he actually created the whole Leviathan axe 
like throw and everything. Yeah. So it was basically like, hey guys, I got this. I've done this. Yeah, before. fuck yeah, dude. I, yeah, that's what so I want to do. I want to be able to throw that hammer, have it do its own thing, and then call it back. Like, it's gonna feel just like it did in God of War, but maybe with some extra oomph because it's a magical Thor and, hammer. So and lightning. Uh, yeah. yeah, and lightning. Yeah. yeah. So I'm yeah. uh, I'm I'm excited, and I, I kept on hearing like when you play as like Cap, it's like Arkham, you know, like combat, yeah. you know, and uh, you know even like uh, Black Widow, like she's got like some combo base, like counter base, like stuff, but she also has guns, so it's kind of like a third person shooter. Um, so like everyone feels really different like Hulk's all about picking up shit and throwing things at people and bashing things you know like it's like everyone feels different yeah uh, Tony's flying around it feels like Anthem I imagine um, yeah I would imagine that too yeah so uh, but when you land he's shooting pulsars and stuff like this so, I mean like I mean it, everyone's gonna feel really different and it sounds like you're gonna be hopping around different perspectives That's a lot probably why spoilers from the trailers if you haven't seen it for some reason but uh, it's probably why they at least they alluded to killing Cap in the in this in the story yeah, and then doing the five-year jump. I don't know how it makes sense to use him for the rest of the game if he's dead, but, uh, but I'm but sure that it's there's probably a because his, his combat. I don't know. Maybe his combat was too similar to Black Widow, even though he's stronger. Um, maybe they wanted to kind of break apart the combat a little more and but have. They said the, you could use Cap through the whole game, so maybe you can only so use strange. him through. Okay. Yeah, maybe maybe they were just talking about multiplayer there or something. Like, there's still a lot of mystery behind. There is. They, they announced saw five, they announced too, five like, characters they, and they killed one of them in the trailer, so it's like, yeah. okay, that's. Weird. Yeah, and then they showed Hank Pym at the end, and you're kind of like, wait, does that mean they're going to yeah, so actually when do you get to use more characters? Because or... yeah. that would be dope if they if they were like, surprise, hey, he, we're actually like working on including him. more more people from multiplayer. He's not Ant-Man, he's just Hank Pym. <laughs> yeah, he's just Hank Pym for now. He's just testing out his gun to shrink things. Yeah. Uh, JD, do you have shit to add on Avengers? Um, I mean, uh, all I saw was the trailer, so I didn't do any, any deeper dive or anything. I just know that uh, everybody fucking hated it. <laughs> and he's just talking shit. So I didn't go. I didn't want to look up anything on this game because I don't know, man. It, it's just the way that people are uh, yeah. and just the entire conversation around it. Like every article that I came across, Avengers, Underwhelms, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, like, right, that's what right. you're focusing on. You're not adding anything to my knowledge. So I'm getting that now from y'all and from what y'all have talked about. I like so. I like uh, uh, Jeff's uh, back up, too. It's like, well, the character models look a little weird. And you're like, you mean they look like Crystal Dynamic different. character models? Yeah, I, <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, that's that, you kind of nailed that. <laughs> and, and still, I just I don't get why people have such strong, hateful opinions on shit that hasn't come out yet. Like, you haven't even gotten your hands on it, really. No, so, yeah. Uh, and you yeah. offer like, like a year, maybe. Plus. And no one has. that. that, yeah. that the, the demo behind closed doors was uh, guided. Like, it was yeah. somebody else, like a developer was playing it. So it's like, no one, people, a, a theater, two theaters got to watch it. That's, I mean. Yeah. That's kind of what we're dealing with right now. So we're going off of like people watching it, and they said that they were really playing it because the guy would be setting up like big combos, and he would totally fuck them up, you know, and like <laughs> it wouldn't get the show, it didn't get to show everybody like some of the cool stuff because he kept on fucking up combos and stuff. So I'm like, I get yeah. that's awesome. Like I'd rather hear that than like, oh, it was pristine and perfect. Like that means sure. it's like all smoke and mirrors, and like it's totally vertically cut, and like. It was perfectly cut that way to play that specific way, and and not like it gave no room for uh, you know the the guider to um, you know like uh, experiment or show off to the crowd or anything. So like I, I kind of like hearing that better. It means it's, it sounds like it's a more functional game, you know. Um, so we'll we'll see. I mean, uh, I don't, I don't know. I, I'm with Jeff. I think it's gonna get pushed back from May, but we'll see. Uh, it probably will. I, I mean, I still think it's a 2020 game, but I think it's I like think fall. it hits October. Yeah. yeah, I think it hits October, but. Um, yeah, like right before the new consoles come out, you know, which would be kind of awkward, but yeah, um, yeah. But I mean, you can I'm play exci- this game on the new consoles anyway, so it's I you. Guess you will. You'll be able to, and I'm sure there'll be a way to upres it or buy a better version sure. of it. Yeah, I mean, considering they want this game to last years, I'm sure they thought that out. Uh, sure, I would hope. I don't know. Yeah, uh, but that's my number seven. So, Kyle, what's your number seven? <laughs> I lied. I have a Japanese game. My number seven. So uh, I lied. Uh, a bitch. Uh, I tricked you guys. Uh, it's a uh, Ghostwire Tokyo. Uh, oh, cool. Actually, a Bethesda game. Uh, it's actually uh, uh, Shinji Mikami's um, uh, baby. He's he did Evil Within, and um, you know he's um, kind of like the father of uh, of Resident Evil. You know, not Resident Evil. Uh, um, excuse me. Like uh, modern day like survival horror. Even survival horror in general as a genre. Um, and it, it was really important because uh, the girl, like the bubbly girl that came on stage, who was like striking poses and talking about this game. Yeah, that's, that's like what his, everybody's like, talking about. That's his like protege, and she's the she's the game director of this game. And it, and, uh, and I'll get to the game in a second, but it was kind of an important moment in gaming because like Shinji Mikami, the father of modern, uh, of, uh, of again gaming horror, he uh, this is a passing the torch moment. Like this is my like she's gonna 
she's going to take over, you know, like, I'm, you know, he's not retiring or anything, but like, this is the next, this is the next big gal, you know, so like, I'm pretty uh, all hands on deck with this game, even though Evil Within really frustrated the shit out of me because uh, I'm just kind of a, a shitty gamer these days, but, uh, uh, but I'm really excited for this one. This one looks really, really interesting. It looks spooky. Uh, it's got some ghost in it. Um, you know, they it's didn't show wires. too much. It's got Tokyo. Uh, yeah, it's got some ghosts and wires a little bit. And I think they're in Tokyo. Uh, that's wow, really that, okay. that checks all the boxes. Uh, the trailer that's was good. really cool, though. Like, there was a lot of it really was, cool yeah. little transition effects, like, in the trailer and stuff like that. I, I really dug this trailer. I love new IPs. Everyone thought it was going to be Evil Within 3. And then... Uh, you know, dude walks out and introduces his lady here and, uh, you know, or his new his new young protege here. And she comes out and announces this game. It looks like she's going to kill this game, man. I mean, it looks like this game is going to be awesome. So uh, I'm, willing, I'm, I'm willing to give it a try. I was pretty wild by the whole spectacle of it all. Uh, and again, the passing the torch moment's big. I mean, it's imagine like... Uh, what if like Wally Fister's uh, uh, stupid uh, Transcendence movie was really good, and like Chris yeah. Nolan to be like, yeah, that's my boy, you know, I get right, to show. Right. Him. You know, it would. It's like that's. It's. It could have been a moment, but it wasn't. I'm hoping well, this. Well, I mean, pans it's like a better. Hans Zimmer, yeah. Ramin J- Javadi moment. Honestly. Yeah, 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 sure, absolutely. Yeah, it's just like it's one of those moments where it's like, yeah, he's letting like his the person who's been training under him step into the limelight for the first yeah. time and carry the burden of the directing duties and stuff like that and. Uh, I'm very excited to see how it pans out because it's got it's got that Mikami like flavor, you know. It's got a it's got a leftovers type story too, like the whole a lot of the world has disappeared. Yeah, and it seems that way. Yeah, paranormal yeah. stuff is. But they're still over. there. It seems like maybe yeah. there's like a transition. You know, like, Hence like, the ghost thing or whatever. I yeah, guess the right, ghost exactly. of the title. And it seems like you play like as a Hawkeye of sorts. Uh, 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 yeah, a pretty, like, like a archer, weird, or, or yeah, or your buddies with a Hawkeye. I don't really know. Yeah, I, I, hopefully you play as a Hawkeye in Tokyo. That'd that, I mean, cool. that'd be cool. Maybe they did set out f- with like a goal of like, okay, this is like an action game instead of like a shit your pants. And I you're think gonna that, lose I game. Think they like did say that, that this is more of a, a more actiony game. There's still yeah. it's still spooky or whatever, but like it's gonna be more action based and stuff like that. And uh, I'm also kind of holding out hope that they were like, hey, remember that scene in Endgame where uh, Hawkeye was like in Tokyo, like murdering people after like half the uh, population disappeared? And they're like, yeah, and they're like, we're gonna do that, but a video game. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> so I hope that's kind of the case. I'm on here. board. Yeah. And and I I would it would be rad if this game became like the definitive uh, archer uh, gameplay type of a game because I can't really think of one off the top of my head that's like really good with a bow and arrow uh, maybe uh, Elder people Scrolls, like Horizon I guess? I don't know. Horizon and Tomb Raider I think people really yeah. favor yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. Horizon's uh, maybe good. just maybe just redefine it a little bit is what I'm trying to say but I I didn't yeah. oh, yeah, have sure. time into uh, Horizon yet unfortunately uh, I know I'm going to because. A sequel feels like it's inevitable for that game. For, it's for coming. Yeah. Uh, yeah. What's her face? Um, Shiva from the league. She's uh, she is she. Uh, uh, I think she leaked it or whatever. She's like, yeah, I'm working on that game. Oops. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, hey. Oh. <laughs> I know who you're talking about. The she's in blind spotting too. Yeah. Yeah, I should know her name. Uh, she's in another J- thing. Janine J- something. She's a treasure. She yeah. <laughs> she really is. Though. I'm not saying she's that. great. Yeah, Shiva, come to me, come on, come on, girl, come on, come to me, something. That's <laughs> joke's going on too long. It's too long. Going on too long. Yeah, it was too All right, uh, so uh, that's uh, Kyle's number seven. And that's mm-hmm. an honorable mention for me, because uh, I, I oh, did. Great. Despite Same Bethesda ha- in, showing yeah. like a lot of stuff that I really, a lot of people didn't give a shit about, like in terms of like uh, all their mo- the mobile game and like. Some people were not excited about the Fallout 76 stuff that they were talking about. Oh, yeah. I'm surprised. Uh, like, he didn't even come out and apologize. He was just like, millions of y'all are still playing. And I appreciate you. <laughs> <laughs> Smug motherfucker. <laughs> but, like, they announced, like, four, genuinely showed four games that I was like, holy shit, I want those games, like, now. Uh, so, I mean, was it really that bad of a conference? I, I would say no. Uh I I'm thought it was saying, pretty good. Yeah, yeah, and um, I mean, and really, for for I I put like over, again over a hundred hours into uh, Fallout because I'm a uh, I'm a cuck, uh, and uh, <laughs> now they're like we're adding NPCs and all this stuff that y'all asked for, and I'm like, hey, that's all the stuff we asked for. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> like for me, I'm is... like, hey, like that game may actually be fun now. <laughs> this is a uh, cuck uh, cuck safe j- zone or whatever you want to call it, cuck friendly, yeah, cuck friendly right, right. podcast. It cuck-cast, is. Cuck-cast. If you're if you're if you're cucking it up this year, come on by. <laughs> yeah, we'll do it for you. So that's your uh, number seven, JD. What's your number six? I don't know. It's probably wrong. I don't know. Uh, one way, <laughs> one way or another. Uh, no, it's. Uh, I I really was intrigued by this one. I haven't played 
uh, Watch Dogs 2 yet because uh, I have it just laying around, but I was, I was excited we're for pushing, Legion. We're pushing that. Oh, man. I knew it was wrong. It wasn't on my list. Yellow Cucks. <laughs> no, I'm really I'm impressed by that game. I'm excited to talk about that one. Uh, yeah, it was, uh, it was, uh, yeah, I, I got it somewhere else. Anyway, uh, so my number six is, it's Watch Dogs, uh, yeah. It's Watch Dogs, no, I'm just kidding. Uh, no, you my number six of a bitch. is, is, uh, actually probably the biggest surprise game announcement to come out of E3, in my opinion, it was Blair Witch. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because, oh, like, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, first off, it's by the developers that did, uh, Layers of Fear, and those games are just fucking tremendous. You're playing the second games. one right now, Yeah, the you? second game, yeah. second game's even more creepy than the first one. I, I don't know how they did it, but... Uh, um, and I, you know, you don't expect another game the same year from the same developer, but the fact that they're yep. not just doing another horror game, but that it's a Blair Witch game... And uh, it's canon. This is, yeah, and it's gonna be... It's I, I don't know how it's not gonna be better than, like... Any of the movies, <laughs> half of the universe that's out there <laughs> that's existing. Be so much better than all that shit, because uh, you know it's it's just you as like a, are you a detective I guess or whatever, but you have like a dog as your companion. So I mean, there's already more humanity in the game than yeah. Any of the I'm movies. very afraid that dog's gonna get killed. Yeah, so. I know, me you're, too. So just you just got to let me know how that pans out. <laughs> you got the camcorder mechanic from the movies that they implemented into the game. It seems like a clever way to do it because I feel like sure. re- rewinding is gonna play a part in the game. Um, a lot, and uh, just seeing them, I've watched some of the gameplay demos, and seeing them traverse through the woods and stuff, it looked really, really creepy, like it should be, and like kind of like it came off in the movies. Um, so, uh, I say movies, I just mean, I didn't watch Book of whatever the fuck, the second one. I just watched the first one, and then the one from a couple of years ago. I didn't watch the shitty second one that everybody told me not to watch. <laughs> yeah, right. I haven't seen that one either, or the reboot, so. or not yeah. the reboot, but the sequel yeah it's like a sequel, sequel. it's it, that's the official sequel i guess because it's like this this the main girl from the first one it's like her younger brother going out and looking for her oh yeah uh it's it there's way too many jump scares in that goddamn movie it's it's an irritating movie um it's like all the it's it's really not, cheap like, stuff oh cheap stuff. okay like cheap jump scares yeah it's exactly. not like jump scares but if like there's too many of them or they're used too yeah, much where you're like, like okay yeah, get on. it guys yeah. Jesus. <laughs> We don't need to lean on this. Like you should yeah. just lean on the story. It's already interesting. But then um, I, f- I f- like all the jump scares aside and some of the stupid shit that characters were doing aside. Like I felt like when you finally did get to see the witch in the movie, I was like, okay, that was that that was a well earned payoff. Like honestly, like because she looked fucking terrifying. So mm. that worked. Uh, but yeah, I just I I love the entire trailer, the vibe of the trailer, and you're just like going, what's this? And then by the time you know you see the he turns the camera around and there's somebody in the corner. You're like, oh, shit, it's Blair Witch. Uh, See, and I didn't know moment. until I saw the logo at the end. <laughs> I was uh, like, oh, hey, that's that logo, like, in the trees. Like, oh, this is the Blair Witch game. It's like, Blair Witch. I was like, nailed it. You <laughs> nailed it, like, 20, 30 seconds before I got there. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and then, yeah, seeing the gameplay, just uh, the demos and stuff that were, you know, they were doing dev interviews and stuff like that for this one. And um, and this one's coming this year, too, by the way. So, yeah, yeah that's another shocking one. Uh, another fucking, like, August fucking game or something. Yeah. Unbelievable, Jesus. man. I can't believe it. Uh, so, yeah, that was a big surprise for me. Um, uh, just especially from these guys. They're, I'm I'm stopping short of guaranteeing this is not going to suck. Because uh, what if the story does? Because, you know, Blair Witch stories tend to not be very good, especially after the first well i mean in the interviews they kept on talking about there are there is tons of lore for us to go from like is there (laughs) (laughs) it's really just kind of a crazy witch and like kids keep on getting lost in the woods right yeah uh, (laughs) that's that's pretty much what it is uh she she kept on like referencing like books and like years and years of lore i'm like are you sure (laughs) it's just from that one movie where they invented lore as they went along when they yeah right 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 yeah uh i i do (laughs) like that the the dog is kind of like a a beacon so like you can kind of follow him to like the next kind of objective yeah. or Dogs you can kind of they're, yeah, they're leaning or you yeah. can yeah kind of veer off and uh kind of do something else but you you are interested in keeping him safe and stuff like that so yeah. they they build in mechanics to kind of like help you with that so that's, oh, that's pretty right. cool i like yeah. that treat dogs good in games that's good yeah it's just this is one that's uh for once uh well not just for once but there was a couple other games that were announced that were not leaked in advance but this one they it was well guarded and uh it was it was worth the surprise i think um, so yeah, I'm excited for that, and for this year, f- fuck's sake, it's crazy. Uh, so that's my number six. Yeah, six. Uh, so Kyle, what's your number six? Uh, I lied to y'all big time. I have another Japanese game. It's called <laughs> Astral Chain. It's on the Switch. 
Oh, bitch. You lied to us a lot this episode. God. Big time. Yeah, I'm just uh, Kyle the liar. Uh, Kyle. Cl- Kyle. 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 Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, anyways, uh, this is a Platinum Games affair. Uh, it looks fucking rad. Uh, you know, it's, it looks like Bayonetta and Devil May Cry and all this shit all had a baby with uh, lots of neon colors. Um, uh, you have some kind of like thing chained to you, and you and it are doing like chained, like you know, chained combo attacks to to keep on with that uh, um, metaphor, I guess. Uh, and uh, he's like an astral being, and he can help you dive into the astral universe, and you go fight bigger monsters, and things just get crazier and crazier in a very platinum's like a uh, affair. And uh, I just love these games, and I love these combo based, you know, like um, action games. And this one just looks awesome, and the fact that it's only on the Switch is really awesome. What a get for the system, like. People care about this system. It feels good that people care about Nintendo for the first time in like a decade, uh, like developers that is. So uh, it, it's a, this is a big get for them. Um, I'm really excited for. It. I don't know how much y'all have seen on this game, but it, it's, it's like lot, it's, yeah. it shows really well. Like the the combos, the combat's just so slick. And it looks so deep. You're changing between legions. You have like a sword legion. You know that the, these are like the guys that are chained to you or whatever. And you have like a bow and arrow one. And you have five different ones of those. And you have all these different weapons you're choosing from. And you're switching between all of them all at the same time to, like, continue these what seem like endless combos if you get really good at the game. Uh, I saw the uh, the actual game director play it, and he was just, like, whomp. He was whomping this this boss, and it was just awesome. It was so, it was so much spectacle. Uh, so, yeah, I'm really excited to, to get my hands on this game. This is another one that's coming out this year, August or yep, September. I got it on yeah, my it's, list, yeah. Yeah, it's, 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 coming, it's coming hard and fast, so I'm very excited for that one. Too Fast, Too Furious. Uh, so uh, that one, I... Uh, that one, yeah, it reminds me of like near the gameplay, except the yeah near. I mean, it's the same combat thing. feels I mean, more interesting, and I like the art style better. That's the only difference. Well, uh, and uh, the uh, the the slowdowns are are like uh, are big. So like when you when you do a really good dodge, like the slowdowns are really drawn out, like they are in Bayonetta, and I really like that. Oh, it really dope. Too, yeah. for like you know, good time like dodges and stuff like that, and it's, it's like, hey man, you dodged that really well, so now womp on this guy for a bit because you're you're in slow motion. So. Fuck yeah, dude. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, I'm, I'm very excited for this game. Yeah, very, really, very yeah, I really like the art style. Like I mentioned, that's open a, world too. Big sellers like for me. Oh, really? Walking around, nice. Yeah, you're walking around doing stuff. Yeah, or open hub area at least. So um, yeah, I'm, near I'm was pretty cool. sure. Yeah, I get out. a lot of near vibes from this game. That that was the better game to kind of call out. So I'm pretty sure it comes it comes out like the same day as other like a bunch of other games. Like uh, yeah, it's a nightmare. I know. Yeah, there's like a few <laughs> that in September and August for some reason. Uh, Astral Chain comes out the same day as Dark Pictures uh, Man of Medan 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 and. Uh, uh, but that one's like a two whatever. It's a short game because it's like they're, a four to six hour game. Is what they're yeah, saying, exactly. Yeah. They're releasing those like episodically every few months or whatever. So um, yeah, never that mind. That's was, not too much that, of a big that game. Deal. Right. Yeah. But it does come out like two, three days after Control. So you know, that's yeah, it's a nightmare, dude. Control's yeah. probably going to be kind of long. So it's like yeah, I assume yeah. <laughs> like uh, Quantum Break was uh, that was like ten hours though. I guess I don't know. Yeah, I imagine that uh, con- control is gonna be like 20, 20, 30 hours, something like that. Yeah, it seems like there's a lot of a uh, lot more. It's it seems it feels like a lot more involved. Like it's not so much. We'll get to it. Never mind. We'll get to it. We'll get to it. We'll get to it. Yeah, we'll get there. Uh, JD, what's your number five? Uh, because I'm such a Fallout cook, I put Outer Worlds at number five. Uh, that's uh, a slight push. God oh damn it! God. We almost synchronized. <laughs> slight push. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Good for you, uh, so That's, that's awesome. No, 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 me, but, uh, love it. but we'll get to that one. My number five is Doom Eternal. Oh, I get to push you. Yeah, baby, Dude, baby. Man, Jeff, Jeff got out doomed. Holy shit. Uh, yeah, well. He's our Doom guy. Yeah. Yeah, you know, right. I'm, not, you know I'm kind of a Doom guy. Uh, yeah, he's so, like, uh, you know what? I saw Doom Eternal. I uh, hated it. That's why it's at number <laughs> five or whatever we're on. <laughs> Uh, so, uh, JD, or not JD, sorry, you're not Kyle. Kyle, what's your number five? I don't know if it's going to get pushed or not. Uh, Star, Star Wars? Yeah, push. 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 Yeah, push. Force, force push. Oh, I'm sorry. Baby, baby! Yeah, force pushing that one. Force uh, push. What, so, did, what, did y'all uh, like that one or something? Consent, Jesus I guess? I don't Christ. know. The force, you should change the name of the force to uh, the consent. The opted like in. It. Yeah. Right. I'm really glad y'all like that one so much, I guess. Cucks. <laughs> <laughs> Because at five, you hate it. That's why. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, JD, what's your number four? <laughs> All right, now it's Doom Time. All, All right. right. Ah. That fucking da-da, gameplay da-da, is insane. Sorry. <laughs> I, I watched it originally on my phone. Big mistake. Watched it all again on my TV this morning and was just like, I need this yeah. fucking right now. Um, and that's coming in what? Like a rather loaded November, right? November, yeah. 
Ugh, with Star yeah. Wars. It's and, unrelenting yep. <laughs> starting August. August to once December starts, it's over. But like August and uh, like, December, it's just I like, can't say December's for these quiet. games and Very buy quiet. a Switch. Like I can't do both. So you gotta buy a Switch, dude. We're all gonna I, be playing Marvel and like yeah, but I won't have any money for games, games if I save up for a Switch. So it's like Switches uh, aren't like PS4s. Oh, they're not. Yeah, they're like they're like two hundred bucks, man. <laughs> yeah, I know. I have a real problem with saving money. Yeah, me too. I get that. <laughs> I don't, so I don't understand what everybody's problem problem is. So, I, yes. I get that too. I don't. I really don't understand what people's problems who can't save is. I'm just one of them, and I don't get it either. Yeah, so I don't get it. I'm stuck, in a, I'm stuck in, I don't get it. in a hard Guys, place right I now. I just make a lot of money, and that makes people want to beat me up and stuff when I say that. <laughs> but that's okay. I'm okay with that because I can afford shit. Yeah. There you go. You can, I, you can hire. I, I bought a you beat me up, I can go buy that. myself something <laughs> I really wanted that you can't get. <laughs> Didn't even make a dent. Yeah, make a dent. I live my life dentless because I'm so fucking loaded. Yeah, making I, a drinks truck back up into my fucking apartment. It's like it's, covered this is only parking. Half, this is only half of my, it too. That's a good. <laughs> my problem is I have like 15 things, and in my head, don't make a dent, but they all add up to one they gigantic. All do. They all add up to one big dent. Like that's yeah. that's my problem is that I I don't view things as a whole. I view things individually, and I'm like, oh, I could do that. I could do that. I could do that. I could. I, I shouldn't have done any of that. Like, shouldn't have done any of it, because then I wouldn't have a dent, but I got a dent. So, uh, so just disregard my the egotistical comment I made. <laughs> yeah, Everybody, this game looks joke, fucking but, awesome. Uh, yeah, but this game does look incredible. Um, holy shit, dude! <laughs> like, like uh, I have no idea what the multiplayer is going to be like, but that is fascinating. Stupid. Don't worry about it. It's gonna okay, okay. I, I, I mean, the, the mode that they showed was kind of cool. Probably will never try it. I mean, the I'm game's still, all about the campaign I'm a, mode. It's I'm about, it's about, yeah, it is it's all about, about murdering a thousand yeah. demons in in an hour. It's you know, like so that. fucking awesome. I respect <laughs> the uh, the multiplayer ad though because it's uh, you know the PvP was was a part of was an it, it was I'm not, it, yeah, it on, was part on of land DNA. parties and stuff like that. You know? Oh man, yeah, I mean, yeah. And it was loaded up on school computers with yeah. Quake and stuff like that. You know, but Holy yeah, shit. I yeah, just uh, I'm I'm here for other I'm I'm here for other things. Oh yeah, me too. Didn't play 2016's you know multiplayer at all. But I like they're taking a different stab at it with a new mode. You know, it's, yeah. it's cool. This, this yeah, is something good for, different. So. Good for them, and I'm sure it's going to get played a, a lot. That's for sure. It uh, probably will. Probably yeah. so many, like, esports tournaments and shit based on that alone. Um, but, uh, yeah, the campaign is what I'm there for, and it looks like the uh, the combat has a little bit more variety um, this time. Like, because it felt like the melee was, like, the same shit every time uh, when I've played the first one. Um, I don't know. It just felt it lacked a little bit of variety in the in the first game mm-hmm. for me. Uh, mm-hmm. Even though it did feel good to like just own the fuck out of people, uh, mm-hmm. not people, but you know what I'm saying, like demons and shit. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I just liked. Uh, even though, sure, they're all like in the first game or whatever, but like uh, the I don't know, just seeing all the the enemies that I was familiar with, like just drawn differently, like the spider things and the cyber demon at the end, and the BFG. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, I got my nostalgia uh, tickles. I don't, whatever you want to call those, I don't know. <laughs> They get that Sounds same dude to do. They get that same dude to come back and make all the music too. So I'm like, yeah, oh, all right. Fuck yeah, dude. That music yeah, was killer. It's just it's a game so that, perfect. like, you as you're playing it or when you're watching the trailers or whatever, you just can't help but go, fuck yeah. <laughs> yeah, dude. Seriously, you start like nodding your head. You're like, this is it. Um, yeah, and the music, I, I like the first game. It like it, it ramps up with like your action and ramps back down like in between stuff and just like it's just uh, man. There's a lot of really good. There's a lot of really good music going on in that game. I really enjoy it. So, yeah. uh, I, really, I just I really love the locomotion as well. Just the 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 ability to run, just keep on killing and running and keep up your pace and everything like that. It just yeah. it feels feels so good in that game. There's few games that capture like uh, uh, gunplay like that. Uh, Rage Two kind of feels like that a lot. Like when you're playing that, you know, you're just yeah. like man, it just it feels so good. Well, because you know it's it's id, but. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm really excited that there's no fluff and doom like there is in Rage 2, and like that's what I'm excited for. Like I, I don't want any of the like, oh no, get in your dumb fucking jeep and drive halfway across the world to do nothing. Uh, there's none of that in Doom. It's just going to be corridor of court to corridor to kill box to kill box of just murdering things, and like that's what I want at, when yeah. you have like a gunplay system, gun mechanics like that. So God, I'm excited for that game. Fuck yeah! Fuck yeah! I can't stop saying yeah. fuck yeah when it comes to this game. Anyway, yeah. uh, so that's uh, that's uh, JD's number four, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. So my number four is another slight push from uh, earlier from somebody else who hates it, uh, I guess. Uh, it's Control. 
Oh, yeah, I hated that game. Uh, that's still a push because you both hate it. Damn, what the <laughs> fuck? I got out of control. So, uh, You're killing me this year. You're so, Kyle, me. what's your uh, what's your incorrect number four? No, I'm just my <laughs> my my correct number four was a push from earlier because JD had it incorrectly. It's out at uh, the Outer Worlds. Oh God. Yep. You're right. So close. You were very really close. Honorable uh, uh, honorable mention for me. Yeah. Yeah, I'm I'm really excited for this game. Uh, I I watched a lot of interviews of this as well uh, from the devs, and uh, Obsidian was very uh, specific on going. You know, we've made a lot of games in our time, but we've never made a space game. So we really yeah. wanted to, we really wanted to do that. Uh, but like with the new, it, with the exact new Vegas like style, pretty much like everything about like Fallout New Vegas, which is our, I guess arguably the the best New Age Fallout game. Um, you know, it, it's going to be like this game, but you're going to be faring back and forth between planets. And you're going to be doing a lot, of, a lot of cool stuff. I don't know how big this game is. I know it's kind of a smaller team. It's not an indie game by any means, but it is a smaller team uh, than like Bethesda's Fallout team. So, or uh, Obsidian worked on this one uh, on Vegas as well, but I think their team was a little bigger. Uh, but yeah, I, I, it's going to be a good game, man. Uh, it's all about you're going to have c- companions going with you, and since you're role playing hard, things that you're doing, your companions are going to agree or disagree with you. You may piss them off so much they just leave you. Uh, you may impress them so much they want to befriend you, or or uh, or fuck you. Um, so uh, yeah, I'm I'm pretty uh, I'm pretty stoked for this game. I feel like RPGs are back like in a big 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 way. Um, you know, I we're, we'll maybe talk about a couple others that are coming up here. Uh, but I'm very excited about uh, the 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 future of RPGs, and I, I think the Outer Worlds looks awesome. It looks like every. I feel like if you if you if you missed out uh, or hated Fallout 76, and maybe didn't even like Fallout 4 or whatever, like this game's gonna be more of a return to form for like Fallout style games. Uh, it's gonna be more like three in in New Vegas. So um, yeah, hey, you guys get pumped for that game. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be not number five awesome. good, number four good. Yeah, you know? no, I mean you're you're. I can't disagree with you, you know? I really can't. He hates it. I don't know. Doom's it's just a good that, choice. It's just that fucking Doom trailer, man. Like, that's just... It's pretty, oh it's my pretty God. metal. It's the blood pumping. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Outer Worlds uh, has a... It looks... I mean, for just for judging from the gameplay, it looks like there's a ton of humor in it, too. Um, it does. It's a little lighter, yeah. It's 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 still telling a cool story or whatever, but it's 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 got some cool obsidian humor. That's so gonna, yeah. yeah, that's going to be a fun uh, fun multiplayer um, one. To, yeah. And, and that's this year, too, right? It's a miserable October game. <laughs> uh yeah yeah it comes so. in the uh the miserable times yeah the miserable uh you know the time uh, we're all fucking broke uh, push something we're back please something needs to get in our back. wallet yeah. i hope two or three things get pushed like we're just not gonna make it good <laughs> <laughs> please just don't we're back into 2020 that. which looks equally horrifying yeah, yeah. 2020 looks the worst yeah the best yeah way. i mean yeah our wallets are just fucked if you're a gamer you're fucked uh yeah. just from here Absolutely. on out we're never going to be in a deficit of bad games ever again, apparently. <laughs> uh, so uh, number f- number that was your number four outer not outer wilds. Um, yeah, not outer wilds, which is what I try to call all the time. Outer wilds is fucking awesome. Uh, so uh, JD, what's your number three? Uh, be careful. I, Just remember, be careful here. I know it's going to get kidding. pushed. I know it's going to get pushed. I know what y'all have here. I know it. But it's what? fine. I know what y'all have. I think. Anyway, I have Breath of the Wild. No. You push know, that. It, but hold on. Can I give you my reason, though? Why it's not, like, number one? Because Zelda's, like, my favorite thing ever. It's not my number one, either, but it's... Oh, okay. <laughs> Why it's not my number two. And I, I haven't played the first one yet. I don't have a Switch. So I, I couldn't, like, justify yeah. current hype when I haven't played have the first a, one. You have a Wii U, though, don't you? Yeah, I can't get Breath of the Wild on a Wii U. Can I? You can? It's the same thing. Yeah, it's Are you the fucking same kidding game. me? Dude, yes. This... The whole, the whole time? The whole time? All this time you could have been playing that game. Is that right? No, I didn't even know it's that. It's not right. Oh, okay. That's not right. That's not right. <laughs> yeah, no, oh, yeah, like, it is. It's on Wii U. Yeah. Is it? Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? And you have a Wii U. That's funny. <laughs> I do. I'm like one of the three JD, people. You need, to, you need to go out and get that game. That um, bought a Wii U. Um. Yeah, I'm doing that. Can uh, Can we do this later? Can yeah. we finish it? <laughs> then you'll come back, reconvene, and do your list your order again. <laughs> yeah. Oh I mean. What the no, fuck? Wait, are we anyway, pushing it for real though? Yeah, we're uh, pushing it. Yeah, we're pushing it. He's got it at two. I mean, maybe. 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 Uh, maybe. All right. Maybe. So, uh, my number three is this is where Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order comes in for me. Push. God. Oh, wow. God damn. He's stealing all the fandom. He's like, and I'm the big Star Wars guy now, too. I'm the Doom guy and the Star Wars guy. More than <laughs> Zelda, who my favorite things ever. Uh, okay, yeah, sure, yeah. dude. Sure, sure. Yeah. sure. Okay, dude. Because I didn't do a fucking good. 
great. Can't believe you have sat here for two years not playing that game because you thought I can't, it wasn't you know a system what? of doing. I, I can't believe it. I, has it been out on Wii this whole time? I, don't, yes. I thought it was released later. I, don't, I don't, honestly didn't. No, I think it was day and day, but once oh, everyone but... started going, that's not true, I'm like, oh, probably, I may have dreamt that, but no, it's true. Game oh, my God. Is you... Hold on. Uh, it was a launch game for the Switch and the final Nintendo game for the Wii U. So, yeah, same day. Uh, Holy uh, shit. Uh, the whole uh, fucking time. So, yeah, two years. Feel bad about that. Yeah, I feel uh, fucking terrible. Um... <laughs> Like, what the actual fuck? That's crazy. You just gave up on the Wii U like Nintendo did. Yo, yeah, really I did. know. You're like, ah, fuck this system. I like, really did. They probably put the greatest game of all time on that system, so. <laughs> I had no idea. I just always heard Switch exclusive, so uh, I guess that. Well, depending Nintendo on how Nintendo exclusive would have been. Now. Yeah. Enough time has passed where people are like, nah, no one liked that. I'm like, yeah, we all did. All of us. I was there. It was just two years ago. We all liked it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, Kyle, uh, by the way, uh, since we're here, what's your number three? <laughs> oh, um, I can do that for since you. Since we're all here doing this. Uh, my number three is, uh, I pushed it just a second ago, it's Control. Can we talk about that now? Awesome. Oh, yeah, that's my number four. I can't believe you have the higher than me. But, yeah, that's my number four. Yeah, I'm the Control guy now. Look look at me. I'm look the at cap- me. I am in control now. <laughs> I am in control now. Yeah. Um, sure. uh-huh. I, uh, that's my Tom uh, Hanks impression in that scene. Uh-huh. uh-huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. uh-huh. Yeah. Worse, well said. Okay. Uh-huh. You got it. Okay. Uh-huh. Um, he's, he deserves more than that. <laughs> yeah. No, it's just a, it's a great reaction because he's trying to act like it's a normal situation to try and, you know, decompress the situation. But, uh-huh. Yeah. And he's just like, yeah, uh-huh. Okay. All right. <laughs> it's such a great scene. Fuck. Uh, uh, anyway, sorry. Control. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I, um, am blown the fuck away by this game. Uh, there was a, there was a moment where it, like, zooms in, uh, and Jeff, you and I were talking about this, where it zooms in at one part, and it shows someone's face, and I was like, you gotta look at those faces? <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> oh my god, they look so good! They're, they're absolutely they stunning. Yeah. Um, and, like, you don't see it, because, like, your fucking back's turned to the end. Like, every time you see this game, like, you're never talking to people, your back's always turned to the camera, so it's like, they finally showed that, and I was like, oh my fucking god like, yeah. this is this, that's great there's a lot of talking uh, in the game too a deceptive like a deceptive amount like i didn't think there would be this much there's gonna be, uh, some, there's gonna be a lot of story man but yeah there's a it's, lot of uh you have to go talk to this guy get a mission remedy man like, and then they're you gotta all, fix, they're all a, about... fix a generator on this floor and then go to the next floor because you're just well, in this one building the whole time you're in this one building and like you're gonna get all the way up to the top and like no with stuff you're gonna really high up and get an ability and go shit there was that thing on the first floor that i can use this ability for now to like get that thing and like so that you're gonna be constantly asked to like go like a metroidvania game is kind of like the style that they call it That's going back rad, and forth but, like, to, you know, uh, and, to, yeah. to uh, like unlock things and like uh, you know so you have to remember like all the things you weren't able to do before and how your abilities can affect those things now um and when you go back uh, apparently things are changing like things are shifting in the building like you know 13 13 ghost or yeah. whatever like that or whatever like i think like the the map stays the same but like things are just kind of altering and stuff and getting a little getting a little weird um i think things get weirder as you get further up if i'm not mistaken so it's kind of one of those affairs where it's just going to get more surreal and like you see some really trippy shit in these latest gameplays from this oh, yeah, year dude yeah i was like what very the fuck cool, is this very geometrical like very cool like i'm very into it very 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 into it um it's twin yeah. peaks the action game basically absolutely yeah and your gun like morphs and changes so yeah I'm all, you just hit like a I'm like a left or something on your on your d-pad and it's like switching your gun mode over it as breathes. you're aiming Looks and you can awesome, see it dude. shift it's so cool yeah, i'm into it yeah, man, I'm oh, man, I'm so into this game. I just like games that like give you power. Like Quantum Break, I felt the same way about. Like I just like games that give you powers, and the developer knows how to like implement it into the gameplay well. Yeah, like right, I felt like Quantum right. Break did that so fucking cool, and it feels like this is just another. It example did. Like you would walk into a room, and there was a trigger for every single one of your powers in that game. So like yeah. if you were really good at using like the explodey barrel power, <laughs> the, you know, yeah. or the you know manipulate this, manipulate that. Like the the every single situation was a playground for all of your powers, not just focused on one or two. And uh, people really, uh, I guess, didn't see that with Quantum Break. People really like to shit on that game. Like, yeah, oh man, I, I such don't a get failed, that at all. 
Just I love no. Remedy. One. Remedy has a flawless track record to me. Like Quantum Break is not a misstep; it's a evolution in their game. I agree. And their game design could I think have been it's, could I, have been longer, and uh, you could have. I mean, I, I appreciated what they were trying to do, but you could have taken out too. the uh, TV stuff, and it would have been probably better. I don't know, uh, but uh, <laughs> but I like the TV stuff. Yeah, you me know? too. Like, I like you know? that. It so, created, like, like maybe uh, you could take it out, but like you know, like I thought it added enough, like to. Yeah. I thought there was enough going on where it bridged things where I was like, oh, man, me yeah. To, uh, invest in whenever that the guy that was, like, the star of that show finally, like, fought you in the game. I was yeah. Like, oh, I know this guy, and I don't want to beat him, uh, but, or whatever. Yeah, right, right. But I love the – in that game, uh, so, um, we're just going to love on Quantum Break a little bit because it doesn't get enough. Um, but, uh, but I love in that game where, like, you could free somebody in time and just, like, unload your entire clip into their face. It's just such yep. a great – and then just and then bottom <laughs> so up. great. It's so good. Those yeah. poor saps <laughs> just sitting there taking your ah, bullets. They deserved it. <laughs> they shot at me. It's so cool. The uh, powers in that game were amazing. Oh yeah, they <laughs> were so they're rad. outstanding. <laughs> like create a cloud of like of like frozen time where bullets get stuck, and you're like, okay, we're right. gonna get that here too. Like, there's so many cool, dude. Like, yes, yeah. So many powers on display, like in these trailers and these gameplays. Um, you know, for uh, for uh, control, so. I mean, I'm just, uh, I mean, uh, we're going to get boss fight. I mean, I imagine we're going to get boss fight. Like, this game's going to get nuts. Yeah. I'm so... I'm and fucking... you're going to have to use... And it's not just about, like, the pistol or whatever that you have. It's like, you know, you got to use a lot of shit to beat people. And I yeah. love that when you're walking around just traversing normally, you can see, like, there's, like, interact indicators on, on certain objects that you can move with your telekinesis. And I, yeah. just, I just love that it's, like, applicable to so many things. There's this so game cool. called PsyOps back on like the PS2 Xbox days that had like really 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 good like telekinesis controls and this game really reminds me a lot of that where you could pick up just almost anything and just throw it at an enemy you know it's just um, mm-hmm. then giant racks you know like big things small things like desks and stuff like that like it it was it it looks cool like it just kind of looks like a throwback to that game so um, pumped I love weird shit speaking of weird shit too. too old to die young everybody go watch that and hate it because you're probably going to uh, I mean you guys won't but <laughs> The average person would hate the fuck out of that show. I just love it. I love What's going on? It's so <laughs> weird. I love it. Uh, JD, you had control on your list, right? Because you actually you actually have the ability well, to play it. So um, yeah, and yeah. and I mean I hated it. So I don't know why you would ask me for, <laughs> for my opinion. What number like eight or something? Yeah, I mean that's just ridiculous. Um, no, I mean it's uh, I, you guys know. I mean we're generally all kind of fascinated by the same shit, and just yeah. that that world is very appealing. And uh, I mean it. Uh, it reminds me of, um, shit. I can't, I can't think of it. It probably won't even be on the nose, is what y'all said. But it, it, there's one game that I played back in the day. It reminded me of, and it was fucking awesome. God damn it! Couldn't even think of the title. <laughs> can't even. All right. It was, it was like a really obscure game that I played on Steam. I'd have to open it up and look. But, um, I fucking might know a what dude. You're talking about I, I, I don't know. I'm, let's do it. I don't I'm know. Do it. Fuck it. Fuck it. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, the, just the gameplay looks fucking sweet. I finally watched, I think it was like a 13 minute or 18 minute gameplay thing today. We're like watching all of those minutes. <laughs> going, do, going and doing yeah, all the I control stop stuff. Watching. That's the and thing. Like, dude, yeah. That was like, oh, another oh, one. Man. Yeah. <laughs> it's fucking rad, dude. That it's, one, in, uh, I, technically, I should have included it in this list, but I know what I'm getting out of the game, so it wasn't really a surprise. <laughs> but Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3, those gameplay demos, I just couldn't stop. Like it's kind of like the people that were supposed to be doing interviews. They just were getting lost and having fun in the game. Like they just totally. Oh, I know. To yeah, and they're like, like, everyone hit. Everyone's got their special I'll hit at the same yeah. time. I'm like, dude, I cannot wait for Jeff <laughs> and I to be wait. screaming at each other. <laughs> hit L two and R two. Hit L two. <laughs> we got to use because uh, I've never gamed online on the Switch. We got to use our like apps on our phone or whatever the fuck. We'll have to. I mean, I would probably just do Facebook like call oh okay instead okay you know, just void, just Makes void. Sense. because like the nintendo app is just garbage so that's what i hear uh oh, but sucks. yeah that's that's the only reason that that game even though i pre-ordered it and spent like almost a hundred dollars on it because i want all the fucking heroes yeah, I'm getting that's it, the only dude. reason it didn't make my list is because like it's like i know what i'm getting you know what i mean there's nothing really surprising about that game that game's out in weeks you I know, know. Like, it's we're, we're so close crazy to that. dude yeah. oh man my plane better not crash on the way to or from New York because I want to play these games. <laughs> That's the only reason. That's the only I reason. Not, I better not die at Sonic Bloom next week. I, uh, <laughs> I may have to take it easy. I better not know? just collapse at work randomly. I'm just uh, got so much, so many games to purchase. So <laughs> many games, game related aneurysm. Fuck. So many games. So that was your number three, Kyle. My number three. So Jay Jard, what's your number two? Uh, I put the uh, that Star Wars game there. 
That one looks really fun and stuff that everybody. Oh, else you does. like that one, huh? Yeah, I guess. On Star Wars Jedi Uncharted Order. <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty upset that uh, I'm, I think I have, I have the lowest. Where'd you have it? Uh, I Jeff? have it at three. Yeah. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Wow. Yeah. What's, wow. Damn. This get yeah. This very really, excited. Like this thoroughly game. impressed me. Big yeah. time. I there's just a lot I, of it too. There's like you know, there's a there's a 20 minute version of that 13 minute uh, trailer. Um, yeah, it's it really just looks so good. Um, really yeah, but I mean the the shit you can do with your lightsaber. That's the stuff I've wanted to do as a Jedi for a long time. Um, I, I've never played a, a Star Wars game like that. I mean, I missed a lot, but um, like Force Unleash or whatever. I think that's like I, the thing that comes closest to it. But you're a Sith Lord in that, right? Uh, well, don't you get to, you're gray, right? You're like Darth Vader's apprentice, but you're don't you change or I do your, not isn't your allegiance tested? I think like you're because I hear people saying like, oh, this is no gray Jedi game. Like, oh, you're you're a full on Jedi in this one. Like, there's not a chance for you to go dark side. Um, so I don't know if that works for a lot of people or I not. Mean, that's I don't understand why that's an issue though. Honestly, I don't understand <laughs> like, why it's an issue had, either. Like, it just Jedi it just game. means that the story is not about his journey between light and dark. He yeah. is what he is, and you're just gonna go he do is Jedi still shit. Wrecking the world fools in kind of like a not maniacal way, but like in a way that's like okay, dude, you didn't need, you didn't need to do that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, okay. Yeah, he did not need to do the badass like force grab. Move the guy into his own blaster shot. Yeah, he didn't need to do that, but I'm so fucking so glad he did. Friendly fire. Uh, that's I so watched, good. I watched that like I was just like back. Yeah, <laughs> it was fucking awesome. Back. Yeah, uh, yeah, it's still that fucking cool. So cool. Like, oh my god. And I love yeah the platforming looks like really fun, and I love the the puzzle solving stuff because like even in yeah. Battlefront two they had some of that puzzle stuff that I actually like doing, where like you would kind of like travel off as your drone. And do your own shit and unlock oh, yeah, doors yeah. or whatever. And I like that part of it, so it feels like that's going to be in this game too. Um, yeah. And I know EA is like shitty. I'm not, you know, completely oblivious to this, but uh, it's respawn, so I don't. Yeah, I was gonna say yeah. like you know we we like respawn. Like everyone loves Titanfall and stuff like that, or the people who play it do. Uh, so um, it's they, just they like no well, let's, platform, let's give dude. A, yeah, let's, let's give them a chance, everybody. Like, yeah, I don't get I don't get these sudden like. Oh, this game looks like shit. I, I, well, how many Bible Avengers? Are I don't get gonna it. Be, I'm like Jesus Christ. God. Like, <laughs> just don't. I just don't understand it. It just looks like a blasty blast. And sure, the person <laughs> that I think it was the person playing the gameplay that was playing it slow. Like, I, that's the most common pl- complaint I heard is like, oh, the combat looks slow. And I'm like, I'm pretty sure that's the person playing it. Like, it, yeah, I mean, you you could just run through that. Yeah, it you looks could. Like. He was doing except a lot for of the pausing. except for like the mini bosses and stuff where yeah. you actually have to like stay in that environment to finish them off. But yeah, it looks like you could just totally traverse through that pretty quick. It looks so fun. Looks so fun. So fun. I'm all about all right, it. I had a, I had a guacamole accident over here, but I'm uh, Uh-oh. back and I'm okay. Is that code where you just diarrhea your pants? <laughs> yeah, that's code. Yeah. I wish it were because I really would rather shit my pants and uh, waste that entire thing of guacamole on my it was food. An entire thing of it. Oh, an fuck. entire thing of it. We have an emergency. Wow. Just call the dog wow. in there and have him clean it up. Um, yeah, no. <laughs> and then he'll barf it out. It's no big deal. Oh, shit. Uh, I forget where we were on that. That was JD's number. That was my number two, two. yes. So my number two is Kyle's favorite of the show. Um, it's not. Watch Dogs Legion. That's, uh, I had it really high. Wow. Push. I had it at Super number high. one for a while until I was like, come on, Jeff. That's come a push. On, that's that's not- a push. <laughs> That's not a push. Fuck off. Uh, it's not on my list. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really excited for this game. Man. Yeah, it was just one of those things where, like, when it leaked that it was a thing, and when uh, the the leak included the line, you get to play as any NPC or whatever. I was anyone. Like, I was like, come on, that's not gonna. That's not a thing. You can't yep. do that and have it be good. And then they, it's they the just, Matrix. They showed it so fucking well. They really did. Uh, and I love the uh, the tech being more advanced in this one. I'm. I'm sure there's probably a story reason because I haven't played one in... Well, no, I played one and hated it. I haven't played two uh, because of one. <laughs> but I hear two is better than one. I know. Yeah, you just you just like gave me number two. Uh, but I'm sure that... Uh, I, I think I own it digitally anyway, so uh, that's fine. Um, but uh, I, I'm pretty sure that the tech advancement is because of whatever story reasons they set it up in the first two. Because, yeah, the, the tech is seriously like... Some time has passed. Just yeah, it time. seems like some time has passed, and clearly Brexit is coming into play here with the UK being a police state and stuff like that. 
Uh, but like all the drone stuff uh, and all of the self-driving cars and stuff like that, it feels like a natural progression of the franchise. Um, and uh, yeah, I just loved seeing everybody that you could become and how differently they all like the skills yeah. that they have are totally different. And even like if you're depending on your age, you move differently and act differently. So that's just that's how many voice actors did they hire? Seriously, dude, that's fucking. How crazy. many animations do they have per person? Because like that, I mean, I bet that they thought of all that. And I bet yeah. it's a lot. So <laughs> there's just so much detail that seems to have gone into this game. I just hope it doesn't. Please don't disappoint us. It's a it's a next year game, uh, early next year. Um, I, I don't think it's going to get pushed because the demos that we rumors were seeing, are that it's cross generational too. So like you'll you'll have a PS5 version pretty I immediately as well. Uh, but it, it it looked pretty complete from what the demos were showing. I, I didn't see many, if any, glitches. Uh, you know, they obviously they wanted people to play a certain way. Like they were like, no, 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 trust me, go infiltrator. You know, like they were just like. Trust me, choose this skill set. you got to do this. Uh, so they were kind of steering how you should play the game on the demos, but uh, at least the ones that were on YouTube. Um, but still, in terms of like all the stuff they were trying to do, I didn't, I didn't see anything that was noticeably like, oh, this needs more time. You know, It wasn't like um, Avengers kind of came off like they could probably use more time, I guess, is what I was seeing. Yeah, know, right. Um, this one doesn't really seem that way. Uh, there's a lot of consequence in this game. You know, it's just like yeah. your guy dies and like they're dead. And there's nothing. Yeah. There's nothing you can do about it. Like they're dead. Like there's not. You know, I like that part about it. You right. know, but there's always somebody else. But it's just cool if you were attached to somebody. Like, oh, but I, I was. Yeah, using oh, I worked so like, hard. Yeah, I was using him since the beginning. Oh, yeah. you know? <laughs> and I like that everybody has. It's not you're not just one guy who has a skill. He's not Jesus of hacking and fighting. You know, it's like right. Yeah, I like that. It's like man, if you're gonna go in there and beat up some people, go get a bruiser. Like go yeah, get a guy switch. who like works for the over. mob and mm -hmm. you know like. Yeah, I, I like that part a lot. And you got to work really. to recruit people because uh, they all have an origin views. story. They all have like an origin quest, yeah. you know. So it's like, yeah, exactly. You yeah, learn they're... a little bit about them, and it's all different. So the people you saw in the trailer, where they're like ex FBI agent and blah blah blah, like, uh, those are all right backgrounds. But the people in our games are all going to look different. So like, yeah. my guy might be a girl, you know. Like my FBI agent might be a girl, and like, but you're the one that you find as an NPC, like out in the world, might be a guy, may have similar backstories or something like right. that. Because there can only be so many. Um, but like, uh, there apparently there's this sophisticated thing that's going on in the background that's randomizing everything and yeah. creating all these stories. That's crazy. So. Yeah, there's every person that you scan has a different opinion of DeadSec too, uh, especially <laughs> ones that you want to recruit. So like, I assume you have to do like a lot of favors for them or something. Curry favor, like do some missions that uh, require, uh, not require, do some missions that if you complete them, it improves your the public perception of DeadSec, so you can actually recruit more people. I guess. Um, recruitment is not an easy thing it's not like sometimes it is somebody just gets captured and you have to go save them but other times you have to work for it you know um, yeah right to get who you want and uh, well, yeah because yeah, if you're trying to break into some place you can you can recruit someone inside and make it an inside job you mm -hmm. know like uh but they may have a really low opinion of dead sex so yeah, yeah you have to kind of work for it or whatever and, like I, and I do appreciate that uh, dying is very easy in this game like because with the amount of tech and drones everywhere yeah you're gonna get fucking wrecked if you try to like cause a public scene and that's what yeah, happens right. in the first demo like that you see is like this guy like he saves another hacker or something like that and all these drones are on him he doesn't get very far he crashes his car and immediately gets fucking owned <laughs> yeah right yeah yeah <laughs> it's like oh that makes sense in this tech world it totally makes sense um and the self-driving cars, it's it's the fascinating part about that, too. It's like you're hacking into those. Like, it's just kind of something that's happening inside the car. I don't think you can see what they're doing. But they're hacking in through, like, their phone or whatever, hacking into the car to steer it. But you could just tell the car to go somewhere and have it drive. That's cool. Which is kind of rad. I'm into that. Uh, yeah, that's just a, there's just a lot of small details that got me really excited about the game. Honestly, this game surprised the hell out of me. Um, this, talk about a series that I was this, just kind of like, This is like on? spring you know? next year, right? Yeah. Yeah, like March yeah, or that's good. something like that's that, April. Good. I'm yeah. into that. Man, yeah. Uh, so that's my number two, and uh, uh, I think JD had it lower, yeah. right? I mean, six, just yeah. above control, so I also hated this one uh, Clearly. quite a bit. Obviously. We are very aware it. of your hatred of this game. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. But yeah, Don't you can, like you can uh, play all, all these. I mean, with the exception of like Breath of the Wild 2, you can play all these, man. Um, yeah, I mean, I, and, um, who, who even knew that Breath of the Wild 2 was closer to, uh, to my grasp than, than I thought. Yeah. So, well, I mean, if I can... not, they're not releasing that shit on Wii D. <laughs> no, I know they're not, but I can play it 
and then I'll be ready for two, and then that might make buying a Switch possible. I don't know. You may hate it. Maybe so many people hate it now. So who knows? Yeah, Yeah, that's true. That's yeah. That's you know these fucking non-conformist try-hard pieces of shit. So yeah, right. I know, whatever, you're allowed to have your Nintendo opinion, games are for fucking but... babies, but I want a Metroid <laughs> game. Okay, well, you can't have it both yeah. ways. Fucking weirdo. Yeah. I, yeah, that shit. And like, there's the... so many uh, There's so many Metroid fans out there that just seem to hate almost all other Nintendo properties. And I'm like, they're, I mean, it's Zelda, guys. Come on, are you kidding me? Yeah. Right now, <laughs> this is happening. <laughs> and also, I don't, look... I get so frustrated. Like, Luigi's Mansion, whatever the fuck, 3? What's yeah. the name of that? Okay. I, I get so frustrated when people, like, watch Nintendo conferences or whatever, and they watch, like, games like that or Animal Crossing, they're like, ah, 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 this isn't what I want. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not, I can't I'm believe like, they're showing you, Animal Crossing. I, do you not, I don't have an aneurysm. Like, do you not know what Nintendo That's is? A like, big I don't understand. part of what Nintendo is, man. Yeah. Like, <laughs> Like a large what you, part. What did you think it was? Did you think they were going to show like Gears esque type games like the entire <laughs> fucking time? I don't understand what you. We're all lucky was that we're getting here. Bayonetta three at some point. Yeah. Like a, a witch who's naked for half a game. Like <laughs> like everyone. We like we're, we're living in a really strange Nintendo time. Or I like, won't play Red Dead two on my Switch. All the dating Sims live there, but like they're still like the Disney of like of of video games. Like they still got to they still got to make the, all the family friendly stuff and all the good. You know what I mean? Like it's just. What are you guys? Are y'all new here? Like, what's happening? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> also, uh, when people were bitching about uh, Witcher Three being downgraded in uh, resolution because of the Switch, I'm like, did you guys not know what the Switch was? Yeah, yeah. did you know it's a less powerful system, right? You know, they yeah. can't just like. Uh, like oh, that's not news. Like, they that's can't not news file at all. copy and paste. <laughs> no. You know, like uh, a dot dot Switch format. You know, like yeah. that's not how that. <laughs> like when people were like mad about that in our in our gaming group, I was just like, you guys are fucking morons because they're pretty sure they released the specs. Oh, uh, and I love. Long time I love ago. this. I love this anti-handheld stance that like people seem to have online. Like, I don't fucking play anything handheld. That's stupid. And I'm like, what? What do you own a Switch for then? Yeah. What are you? Are you playing that? And you're buying all your games on that? Like, they don't look better on that system. Like, what? So, what are you buying? Here? This doesn't make any sense to me. You know, like, uh, you know, play, play. It's it's meant for both. You know, and if you don't get a chance to play it handheld, you know, you probably just bought your Switch to play the first party games that are like built for just Nintendo or whatever. Right. If you're not buying The Witcher because you own a PS4. Like, you don't. You buy The Witcher there. I'm buying The Witcher on the Switch because playing that game handheld, like at work or you know on a break or. Uh, and when I'm traveling or something like that, it sounds fucking awesome. I don't care what fucking P it's in. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's in like, one it, P. <laughs> it could be fucking three P, and I'm in, baby. Like it, I, it, <laughs> that sounds so awesome to me. Like yeah. I, I think it sounds so great. And this handheld shaming that's coming about yeah, is so. I don't so get that. It, I, especially I would because be, I would be caught out in public with a gaming system. Would you? I grew up on Game Boy. What the fuck, you an alien? Yeah, yeah, yeah like you. Yeah. Everybody had a Game Boy that I went to school with, and also. <laughs> We all have phones now, and I'm pretty sure they have games on there, so they're fucking Yeah, liars. right. You look just as stupid on your phone as I do on my Switch in public, so, you know, that's your, that. we're, all, we're all looking down and touching buttons. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, that's just a different version So, yeah, of it, I'm very excited for the, the Witcher on Switch. That's fucking all, big. That's a, that's, a Kyle, uh, that's a Kyle quote for the ages, by the way. We're all looking down and touching buttons. That's uh, Yeah, right. Because we are. That's, that's every day. <laughs> every single fucking day. Yep. And every moment. Uh, so, uh, Kyle, what's your number two? Uh, I didn't make uh, my list past that, so it's just that was it. It was no, uh, ten, ten three. three. You were like, three. I can't, well, I can't decide. So I can't even. Uh, uh, no, my number two is uh, the Legend of Zelda: Breath of the oh, Wild. Cool. Yeah. Cool, cool, cool. Breath, yeah, breath, cool. breaths, breath. breaths. Of I had the no wild. idea. I made jokes before. I seriously, I made the jokes too, and they were just jokes. So it wasn't like a I called this because I didn't because I know in my heart it was a joke, and I'm gonna keep the story that way. <laughs> Uh, so, like, I was just like, ah, you know, they'll probably announce a sequel to Breath of the Wild or something like that. Because, like, they were talking, the rumor was it was going to be Odyssey. Odyssey, Mario Odyssey was going to get the sequel. Uh-huh. Uh, and it was so far off, you know. And, I again, I said it as a joke, like, ah, you know, just it just load the same world up again. Like, well, I'll fucking play in that thing. And that part I did mean, because I would, because it's such a big world. Uh, why waste it? You know, use it again. Um... Uh, here we are. Like, we actually have a real sequel. It fucking blew me away. I had no idea they were actually going to do that. And it looks like it's tied to Twilight Princess a lot with some of the imagery and stuff like that you see, some of the music that you hear. It's played backwards, which is a very uh, oh, Twilight cool. nice. Twilight Princess thing. Um, <clears throat> and it's definitely a sequel to Breath of the Wild because it says it is. Um, the rumors are is that you see uh, Zelda's hair is shorter 
shorter hair is easier to code for playable characters um, and NPCs and stuff like that. They're going to be moving a lot. So the rumor is you'll be playing a Zelda. It may even be a co-op game. Uh, these are all rumors. Do not take this with any sort of excitement or anything like that. Just take that it as like that. would be a game changer, though. If that yeah, that, were to it, it would be. Yeah, and if not, you're switching between the two of them. Yeah, um, cool. which I'm cool with that too. Yeah. Uh, looked like that's Ganon there at, at, at the end. Like it, it's it's a Gerudo, and he's got red, long red hair. These are all Ganondorf, you know, traits or whatever. And he's he's the thing like with the hand on top of his head and all the all the all the the badge jujus coming out of him or whatever that stuff is that smoke or whatever that you're fighting the entire the calamity that you're fighting the entire first game uh so i think like you're going to the source you know which is like ganon's body he's like the source of ganondorf's body he's like the source of all this evil guessing on that too but like you know i've been playing a lot of zelda kind of maybe i know what i'm talking about i don't know um so yeah i don't know i'm pretty excited for this game kind of blown away it's actually happening um why use all why let all these assets go to waste they did something similar and it looks really dark now too like it looks darker than breath of the wild uh, a lot of dark imagery a lot of like that, he's a mummy like you know like, uh, like when you see uh, that gerudo and like it's just all creepy and stuff like that and they did this uh, back in the day ocarina of time was kind of dark um they wanted to turn another zelda around in a year or two years i forget what the time frame was so they used uh, all the same assets from Ocarina of Time, but built a completely new game, and the, that was Majora's Mask. And everyone loves that game. It's a great game. But it's not nothing, there's nothing new that's put in that game, except for a, a few like bosses and stuff like that. It's all just completely reused assets from the previous game. But yeah. they order it in a way where it's just like, it's a completely unrecognizable, pretty much. Uh, and that's what this game pretty much is. They're just re they're reusing assets and putting out a game pretty quick uh, to, to satiate our Zelda needs again. And it's gonna be awesome, just like Majora's Mask was. This is these are this is not a cash grab. This is you know this is like we're getting a full blown fucking Zelda game, um, and uh, it's a sequel to one of the greatest games of all time. I mean, I'm, I'm fucking pumped, man. Um, looks more story driven too. I'm hoping. I mean, I, I think we all kind of got tricked to thinking like the last game was gonna have a lot of cutscenes and story, and it and that it didn't. <laughs> but, not at all. But uh, I'm thinking this one. That's might. why I hated it. Hate the game. That's why it's so it's stupid. They shot. I want voice acting. Well, you got that too. Well, I hated that too. Well, and then shit. and then Red Dead gives you so much of that. Oh, I hate that too. I don't want story. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to ride my horse and I want it to go turbo speed and unrealistic. And I hate shit. that I trip over things that are there in the environment. <laughs> <laughs> which are so totally awful. avoidable by my own hand uh, right. so uh, yeah, people are really a year later I still hate everyone who's like Red Dead's kind of underwhelming you're underwhelming your whole personality is <laughs> your life is <laughs> underwhelming everything about you sucks everything about you is underwhelming <laughs> uh, yeah super excited for Breath of the Wild um, so yeah you know, I don't know when we're going to get that maybe next year I don't know yeah who, who the fuck knows when that's coming well they didn't show bayonetta and that's probably not coming i'm, 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 I'm just I'm, they fucking better show metroid or i'm walking <laughs> <laughs> or i'm selling my switch pronto hey can i buy that <laughs> uh yeah sure anybody who wants to rage lie, sell their switch stupid hit me up yeah if you got a rage sell hit up jd at buck Ow. but dr 69 at uh yahoo co.uk because i'm to, to really be fair, I know it's impressed that there. you know that email that's a very he, secretive email he uh he wrote that in his college years so like it was it was age appropriate at the time the correct so. correct Fuck. uh so that was uh kyle's number two so now we can just go plow through our honorable mentions uh so uh i'll i'll start because you know kyle you already mentioned a few of them uh ghost wire tokyo outer worlds Mm -hmm. And I think those are the only ones that you mentioned that I had. Um, so, yeah, I'm excited for Wolfenstein Youngblood because I want to play some co-op with you guys and kill some uh, I would love to play that game yeah. co-op with you. So I'll it's going to be a so fucking blast, dude. I can't wait to get that game. They said it's really built for co-op. Like, it's just like, yeah, I mean, there's, there's finish, usually right? always two hallways and two ways to go and two things. You know, it's like it's really built for co-op. So That's awesome. And it looks... Even more violent than last than the last few, which is saying something. Of course it is. They're like yeah. they're little tween girls. They're little yeah. like seventeen year olds, and they're like they're it's a you know they're out there murdering people. They're yeah. going to be really brutal about it because they you know they have no humanity because they're children. Yeah, so I love that shit. Uh, Hollow Knight Silk Song. I didn't know we were getting a sequel already. I don't know why. I didn't know that because they announced it before E three. So uh, my bad. Uh. Oops. But, I find that game very hard, and I have no idea what I'm doing, but I love the art style, and it's yeah. very fun to kill things. 
Yeah, the art style looks uh, even even but even prettier in this uh, in the demos that I've been seeing for this. And uh, yeah, you're right. You, there's a lot of precision based movement in this one, um, in the first one at least. And the second one doesn't look like it's any different, but in terms of that stuff. But uh, I'm there's still no direction. You just you just run in a direction and hope that you're going the right way. Like, there's no <laughs> exactly there's yeah. no like objective or anything like that. But yeah. it's, that's kind of liberating too. So yeah, uh, I love those type of platformers though. The, the indie vibe, and I think it's a Switch Back. exclusive too. So <clears throat> excuse me. Good for them. Uh, yep. Death Loop is one I wanted to mention. I have no idea. I have that on my list. Yeah, uh, that's in my own man. Yep. Hell's yeah. No idea what yeah, that game's gonna be. Don't uh, care. I know I'll it's. It. I know it's a Dishonored folks, so it could be hit and miss with the combat for me. But uh, could be. Yeah. It, it sounds like it looks like it's something totally different from them. So, uh, I'm, I like the concept alone. I, I have no idea if it's gonna be PvP or not, or if you're switching between people. I don't. I hope it's a story. I hope it's a yeah. Groundhog Day story. Same here. So. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of Groundhog Day, 12 minutes. Uh, that was on yeah, my t- 10 for a long time. But, into uh, that. Yeah, really into the tw- reliving a, a 12 minutes over and over again. That could make for like a super long game or a super short one. I have no idea. Yeah. Um, but yeah, you're just like stuck in this 12-minute loop, and you're trying to figure out, I guess, a way out of it or to solve a crime or something like that before you get caught for it. I don't, I don't know what the whole story is, but uh, I'm super into the concept alone. Um, so those are a few of mine. Do you guys have others you want to mention? I do. Uh, I've got uh, Borderlands 3. Uh, that game's coming out soon. That's going to be a lot of fun to play together. Uh, the game yeah. showed really well. Uh, I hope Randy Pitchford just maybe uh, locks himself in a cabin in Oregon somewhere until the game comes out so he doesn't <laughs> ruin this for everybody. Uh, because, uh, not that, I, I, again, I, he's, a, he's a great guy. I, I think he is, at least. I've, I've met him a couple times. Uh, I just think that he has been in the news for nothing but bad things. Even yeah, assaulting true. even assaulting someone recently. Uh, not recently, like, the allegations are recent, but, like, it happened a while ago. Right. Uh, with the original vo- actor of voice, uh, the original voice actor of Claptrap, I believe it was. Um, they, they were fought, like, in the hotel or something. It's just not good, you know, so just, like, not a good need, look, yeah. Get him out of here, you know, and let Borderlands like have its uh, have its moment because uh, all those all those guys up there deserve it. All those guys and gals that work up there deserve it because uh, uh, Gearbox has been struggling lately too with with hits. Um, you know, I think they need to win. I think Borderlands is going to be a slam dunk for them. It's super safe, and I don't mean yeah. that in a bad way. Like it's, I think people wanted this game too, and everyone who got hands on time with it, like they were just like, we we love it. We just want it right now, you know. Yeah, um, I've been and liking their the gameplay stuff. So yeah, they're king of DLC too. So I mean, like, it's just like we're gonna get a lot of post, you know, post game content. It's just gonna get piled on and piled on, and you can play the new uh, DLC right now for uh, two, which uh, sets up three. So and it's free. So nice. Um, so you have the game. You can uh, download that. I'm actually gonna play through it uh, this weekend, hopefully. So yeah, I heard it's short. Because somebody mentioned on the same day that it dropped that they beat it, and they were like, oh, oh yeah, game. it's probably like five hours, four or five hours, yeah. Uh, I have Psychonauts 2 on here as well. Uh, game looks really crazy. Uh, if y'all haven't played the first game, the first I'm game not. is on PS4, and it's very cheap, and it's very fun. Oh, um, cool. I, don't, I, I don't know how I well it ages, Steam, but yeah. uh, it's, it's, it it's a lot It doesn't age that well, but it's okay. fun. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it, the idea is it's very Inception-like. Like You're going into people's like minds or in dreams and subconsciousness uh, to change little quirks about them, you yeah. know? Uh, it's very cool, uh, and everyone's mind's different, and their mindscape is different, and everything like that. And um, yeah, it's 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 super cool, man. I, I really I really dig that uh, um, that studio's whole vibe. It's very uh, Tim Burton kind of cartoon esque. Uh, yeah, of vibe. No, I don't think anybody's doing games like that. Like I mean, nah. Flipping Death last year was kind of like that. I don't think that was double. Yeah, fine, it was. It kind of had that. It kind of had that. But uh, I think uh, inspiration I'd... came from them. So uh, uh, good for Microsoft for more... getting double fine, by the way. Yeah, good for them. That's yeah. a big get. Yeah, Tim Schaefer. He's a great, he's a great guy. Yeah, I really like I really like him. So, uh, my last on men is Dragon Ball Kakarot. We're getting an open world C- RPG Kakarot? Dragon Ball Z game. <laughs> Kakarot, uh, Kakarot. Um, go get that checked out. You don't want that. Uh, you don't want to sit with that. No, yeah, you don't bad. want that. That's bad. Um, yeah, so, um, yeah, I'm really excited for that game. It just yeah. looks awesome. Open Everyone's like, RPG, "Oh, yeah. you're gonna play through the you're gonna play through the same fucking story." I'm like, "Yeah, well, that's the story." So, yeah. Welcome to. What Dragon do you mean Ball we're game. playing? You mean playing through the one, like the same story that's already there? Like, so you want them to like make something new so y'all can complain about it not being canon? Like, yeah. what do you What do you want here, guys? What do you want here, everybody? So oh God, people uh, I'm excited. Bitch. Oh. Uh, I want to beat up. I want to beat up Raditz for the. I, li- I like seeing that it was uh, my my investment of it, and by that I mean purchase of it. Uh, depends on reviews for me because you know i'm not i don't typically play those games but i did like seeing that it was an open world 
RPG. Pretty yeah, it much. looks like, cool. Yeah. yeah, and like it's filled with little Easter eggs. Like you go and see uh, Fiverr. You know, he's like uh, the Frankenstein android from Dragon Ball, and like he's just up there, and you can do a little quest for him real quick. And I'm like, oh man, if the game's filled with that little shit, that like just for my little fandom, you know, my little fanboyness inside of me, and like I, that I'm, make me very happy. So that game's coming out next year. So get a little time on that one. Hell yeah! Hell yeah! Uh, JD, do you have some? Um, none that we haven't already gone over. I had Ghostwire Tokyo on mine and Deathloop. Uh, I would have had Psychonauts on there. I didn't even know that was coming out. But Hell yeah. Yeah. yeah, I had that on. I had that on Steam. Graphically, I played it like way like five years after release, and it was all right. So I just yeah. assume unless the PlayStation version. Um, did they well, remaster we don't, that? We don't platform the way we did 13 years ago. So like, that's what I, I always I always yeah. worry about like going, hey, go back and play Abe's Odyssey or something. It's like, nah, don't do that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was, it we, was don't, fun we don't control games like that anymore. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it, w- it was really fun conceptually, though. So I'd, I'd be excited for a second. Oh, yeah. You want to trip? Jeff and I complain about this all the time. Go back and play an old GTA game on the PS2. Oh, oh it's a, ni- it's I, a you know, nightmare. I could I X could do goes. that. What what fucking nightmare? Like who? Why were we doing that? <laughs> I still have my PlayStation 2. I would just need to find the power cable. It and is I can do that. super awful. Like, we have just come a long way in terms of how we control things. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yep. Uh, I had a few more. Uh, Ori and the Will of the Wisps. It's not really... Shows really well. Or, yeah, it shows really well. It's not really earth-shattering why I have it on my list, because I love the first one. And uh, I think this one does uh, scale and scope even larger. Um, Big time. It showed so many, like, large, like monsters or beings that you have to encounter and escape from and i was like holy shit that looks awesome uh yeah i just love that art style uh rainbow six quarantine rainbow six but with quarantine well, that's like three with person co-op right yeah i think yeah, that's so. gonna be fun yeah yeah i think that's gonna be fun they didn't show any of the stuff but i assume it's that's the thing i assume quarantine. it's gonna be fun yeah <laughs> i yeah i assume it's just gonna be siege which is a badass game but you're running away from shit or so I imagine like all the same like blowing through walls are gonna like that's all gonna be on the table I imagine. Um, yeah, I, I, I imagine. It's I like think it's gonna be. Things, I think they're yeah. trying to go for that Left for Dead, you know, like that Left for Dead vacuum that right mm-hmm. now World War Z is occupying. So. Yeah, and that's a fun game. Uh, it just got its first uh, free update. So. Oh, holy shit! That's awesome. Yeah. Um, yeah. New level. So yeah, that's yeah. one. Uh, Dying Light 2, I've been liking what I've seen there. I haven't even played the first one. Oh, that's hard on my on, man. Yeah. I can't believe I overlooked that. Yeah, that's uh, Dying Light 2 is going to be on. We're all getting that. Everyone's on board already. I'm speaking for everybody. Yep, 100% <laughs> getting that. Parkour zombie game where it's like RPG. you got to... Ch- change the way the world perceives you or whatever do fake well yeah so. like so if i jump into your world jeff and you made different decisions with me you're gonna have entire new different areas unlocked that are completely locked off to me because yeah. i made different decisions like you may have drained a lake and like uh uh, uh, uh like shown an entire submerged city that's underneath there or something like that you know or, or entire cave system or entire something that has a loot in it or something that i have i'm completely locked off to uh, and the game is just filled with like all these decisions, and I forget who they say the writer was, but I was just like, "Ooh, they, ooh, they, yeah!" I forget who it is. I should look it up, but I'm not going to. <laughs> um, so yeah, I, I know, know the writer's I either, but uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm 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 excited for that one, even though I haven't played the first one. It's just that's how good it, it's been showing lately. Um, and this first one, the 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 last cucky indie one I wanted to mention, it showed on the Microsoft stage. It's called Spirit Fair, Spirit Spirit Fur, Spirit <laughs> Fairer. <laughs> Is this a three? Oh is yeah, that one looks thing? really cool. <laughs> it's uh, I like the art style. Yeah, I love the art style. It looks like it's hand drawn. Yeah, it does look like yeah. it's kind of like a rural juror type situation <laughs> with the title there. Uh, but yeah, I think it's hand drawn, and, and yeah, there, it deals with grief a lot. I feel like there's going to be a lot of crying during this. And game. you're like transporting souls to and from the afterlife. Exactly, with afterlife, which yeah. are both yeah. right. Yeah. It's yeah. this year's kid dying of cancer game. <laughs> yeah, it's, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's 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 funny. You can't really because help me deal with the that's death of really, that's, that's pretty pretty much, much, Those games are I, we like those games. Yeah, yeah that's, that's pretty much I know, the I can bar, though, though, right? Like that's the bar of emotional games because somebody literally made a game about their kid suffering yeah. through. Cancer. Yeah, seriously. So like and that's I'm the share, bar I'm of like emotional this. shit, you know, in terms of uh, what a game could be, an indie game could be. Um, I just love the art style on this one. That really grabbed me like immediately. Probably yeah. not going to get it for another year, um, but that's okay. It's you know that was an announcement, so whatever. Uh, yeah. So now we're at our number ones, right? Nobody else had any. I think mine's different. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Mine could be different earlier. You what? Your number one. I I, I I I hope we all have the same thing, but we agreed that I could have something different earlier you, you instead could. of yeah. Probably yeah. Something so something. maybe I should go first. Something and cultured. Y'all can. Uh, yeah, Kyle. What's your number one? Uh, I thought is it Cyberpunk for all of us? It's that's what it is for me. 
It's Madden 2020 for me. It's we'll see, but uh, remember, we agreed FIFA that I could take Cyberpunk off. I could put Keanu Reeves on mine. So. Oh, that's oh, okay. true. That's true. Yeah, that's right. yeah. They're both equally important to the world. Like right. in their own in their well, own I mean, respect. That's the main like, reason I have num- I have the number one that I have. So I mean, it's, <laughs> yeah. it's Keanu Reeves. I don't think I've ever been so excited to see Keanu Reeves in my entire life. <laughs> <laughs> you know, me too. It was kind of like, oh, why? Oh, like, why, like, why are we that excited? I have no idea. Like, is it a video game? Whoa! But it's like that's that's where I'm at right now. I don't. <laughs> this is just showing up everywhere, man. It's crazy. Uh, yeah, I don't get it. I don't get all the hype right now, but I'm a part of it. So just yeah. because I'm a part of it doesn't mean I have to understand it. <laughs> so, um, I'm super excited for Cyberpunk, man. I mean, every time we yeah. see a trailer, so they were saying that that trailer is a mission. I mean, obviously it's a it's a CG cutscene or whatever, but like you're playing that mission and you're making decisions during that time and you're choosing how you want that like whole thing to play out that way. So. Um, right. Uh, they uh, all the gameplay that I've been hearing about uh, is all about um, it. Well, last year it, 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 it's different than last year. It's talking about how like you're it's more of an RPG and how more of how your customization and your abilities and stuff like that work. I mean, you can go through this entire game and kill nobody, not once. You don't have to fire a single gun. Like you can talk your way out of everything or be passive or a hacker or whatever. Like it's a hardcore RPG. Like you're you're creating a whole backstory for yourself and through that backstory you have extra uh you know um conversation dialogue options and stuff like that that are specific to your background or the way that your character grew up and stuff like that uh so it's very it's deep guys like you're it this is this is a hardcore immersive experience and fucking keanu reeves is going to be a chip inside of your head that tells you how to get to where you need to go next so uh he's going to be there with you for probably the 100 hour journey (laughs) of this game that i assume it's going to be so uh, just sitting there with you, and his whole backstory is awesome. So you'll have to go check that out. He has a he has a really cool backstory and how he ended up, you know, how in the state that he's in, you know, um, why, how he's a, pretty much a chip, you know, an AI now. Um, yeah, man, I want to see that gameplay, boy. I want to see it bad. <laughs> I want to sure, see it we'll real bad. It, like when we first got the first round of gameplay, it was like unadvertised that day, you know, like it yeah, kind of like yeah. surprise. Here you go. Uh, it's coming out today. Here you go. It's 50 minutes, and I'm pretty sure we're just gonna get the same the same shit, I guess. Uh, yeah, and it's 50 minutes again, so yeah. it'll be a nice it'll be a nice chunk again, you know. And, and I love hearing that. Uh, first off, everybody should go watch like some of the some of the reactions from YouTube channels of uh, Keanu coming out because uh, people lost their shit when he showed up it's in the game crazy. and then when he came I out. Lost my shit. It's crazy. Yeah. When yeah, he came out on did, stage, yeah. I was like, "Oh my god!" <laughs> yeah, and that's a, that that excitement is uh, it's uh, it's palpable, and it's a reason that's definitely a reason that I considered it for number one. I had Watch Dogs at number one because I was like, "Oh, that showed the best and surprised me the most." But like, I mean, come on, it's cyberpunk. Like, I mean, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like yeah. what the, what cyberpunk did this weekend had like delivered the best moment of E3. And we so, get a release yeah. date for next year, yeah. which that's totally slipping. We're not getting that for sure. <laughs> Uh, uh, yeah, but I'm just glad that. that they're at least throwing it out there to work yeah. towards something. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but yeah, I'm I'm super I'm super excited for uh, for this game in, in such big ways. Uh, yeah, when Counter walked out, you know that guy who called him breathtaking, and he's like, "You're breath, you're all breathtaking." Yeah. They gave that guy uh, like the collector's edition version of the game, and he goes, "No, take that money and give it to some charity instead." Oh wow! Yeah. So Jeez. that story just keeps on giving. Yeah. <laughs> what a what breathtaking a sweet, story! Yeah, what a breathtaking story! Yeah, uh, yeah. We kind of coming out there and being so like, dude. I mean, like he was so like genuinely hyped. It's not like Jamie Kennedy being on stage or, um, you know, or anything like that. Like he's a genuine like he games man. Like that guy plays a lot of video games and you know like he he was genuinely excited to be part of this project. All the uh, interviews I've seen him in, like IGN interviewed him about like being in the game, and it's like a four minute interview, and it's so good. He's so, he's geeking out so hard about it. He's like, oh, I've read all the content now. I've read like all yeah. all the lore and everything like that. Like I I was you know I only chose this uh, project because like I think the story's so good. Yeah. And I'm like, you would know something about it. A guy reads scripts for a uh, living, you know. Yeah. <laughs> and he does research about projects that he's passionate about. Like, I yeah, mean, yeah. I mean, he's he's legit. Like, he's legitimately passionate about this, yeah. you know. Um, and like he he met up with uh, CD Projekt Red last year uh, when they were in LA, and it was just like, hey, would you want to come with us? And they just kind of pitched the idea to him, and. Um, he loved it. I mean, he loved the entire concept of it, and uh, since then, just be gotten wrapped up in all this. So, I mean, like, oh, it's just genuine. It wasn't like it didn't feel like a celebrity grab to me. Like sometimes no. it can. You know? I um, think uh, another thing that felt genuine was his his uh, surprise at how 
overwhelming the positive reaction was. I don't think he expected it to be that level. Um, I don't think so either. I think people lost their minds, there. and he, like, man, he was grinning ear to ear. And, yeah, and oh, he's like, so all right, I gotta so get through powerful. this, yeah. Yeah, I gotta get through this, guys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think yeah. he realized, like, I mean, I don't think he realizes how much uh, people were already kind of uh, fawning over him on Twitter and stuff like that, and social media. He- have you like, seen the recent it's a red carpet interview and someone goes uh what's your what's your uh reaction to hearing that you're now labeled the boyfriend's internet and he just goes i'm the what <laughs> <laughs> uh he's just the most <laughs> humble guy in the entire he doesn't realize he's like the the most famous guy walking the earth right now yeah like, he doesn't realize it and there was a walked- there was a video like a very short video from like a press conference or an interview or something i think it was actually when he got his uh, star at the hollywood walk of fame is that what it's called? Hollywood star, whatever the fuck it's called. You know what I'm yeah, talking about in Hollywood yeah, where you get a star. Yeah, that's right. And uh, I think Lawrence Fishburne like, helped induct him and stuff, and Keanu Reeves gave a speech. And I think this is where this, the quote comes from because this it was like a five-second thing where he said, um, he said, I love movies. Gosh, I love movies. Yeah, I, I saw that. Yeah. Awesome. And that was like g- going viral on Twitter before he even stepped out on the stage on E3. So people were already – he was fresh in people's memories. Uh, yeah, already. yeah. Like, oh, you know. and again, but in that moment too, when he's talking about loving, like he's so gen, like he's so passionate about this yeah. guys. Like it's, uh, oh my god, I just, I just love, a, I love a person who's just the passionate transformation about their work like that. from like wooden, shitty actor to most beloved actor. It's just crazy to me. Yeah, well, because uh, remember, guys, we all hated him in the nineties. Yeah, remember we did. whenever. I was okay, so I forget which movie the Constantine trailer played before. I forget which movie. Maybe it was Resident Evil. Maybe it was, it was some movie or something. But it was a packed nerd crowd or whatever. All right, and that Constantine trailer played, and the whole fucking theater rioted. I was just <laughs> boo, fuck that guy, you know? Oh, fucking boo! Like God. the whole theater turned on. And that's hated, post the Matrix. That's fucking crazy, dude. Constantine. It's so fucking crazy because like everyone hated Matrix three and two and you know maybe not two but three or whatever. You know, so like, and like, you know, and they were over his like wooden acting and, oh, did you see him in Bram Stoker? He's fucking off a bill and te- uh. like, like, it was just like, I remember that. I was there, you know, and now he's the most beloved person in the entire world. <laughs> like, yeah, that's, that's I just have wild. no idea how that happened. Was it John Wick? I mean, I don't, I really don't know. I guess I really it don't was know that, they, people stand for characters that protect dogs or avenge dogs, I guess. Yeah. I don't- I don't know. It came out how like normal he was, and everyone's like, "Hey, we like normal people." <laughs> yeah. I don't. I really. I think, well, yeah, that and not shitty. Uh, yeah, not a yeah. There's no person. scandal, you know. All like, of his money like today, you know? the most scandalous thing he's ever done is steal a camera from a paparazzi, run away, smile while smile. doing it, and get yeah. fucking viral for it. And like that's the worst the thing he's life. done. <laughs> right. And he gave it right back. Of yeah, course he did. Also, fuck he's the paparazzi. The paparazzi are human scum of the yeah. earth. So I mean, yeah, this no, is why exactly. I chose Keanu Reeves for the my guy. number yeah, one nobody. for E3 this year, guys, and not Cyberpunk. All right, yeah. because we're talking more about that than Cyberpunk. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's why, yeah, that's why Keanu Reeves wins. Uh, <laughs> yeah. But because his name is attached to Cyberpunk, it's more of a reason to put Cyberpunk at number one. Yeah, absolutely. But Which yeah, is, that's yeah. uh, that's that's it for us, man. That's that's. Uh, I mean, uh, JD, do you have stuff to add on uh, Cyberpunk slash Keanu Keanu signs? I mean. It was it, the Keanu Sans is real. Yeah. Uh, I'm very happy. We're he's in good the hands. One. Um, he is the he one. Is the and he, he uh, we, sh- we should all relationship. strive to be more like Keanu. Yeah. We really should. That was good. a great, by the way, that was just a great reveal at the end. Uh, just the way that they telegraphed that. And, you know, up, we got a city to burn. We got a city like, to burn. Oh and I was like, I know that voice. And when he God came down, way. I was like, holy shit. He's, he's got, got his got, long like, hair beard and everything. And, oh, man. He has just had it with <laughs> the fucking Johnny city. He's Silver Hands. <laughs> yeah, oh, man. I'm so excited. I'm so, that game's going to be so long. I can't wait. He created, the punk <laughs> rock, he created the punk rock bands, the Samurai, who are like an anti-establishment band. And he's also like a prized hacker and assassin. Like, dude, his backstory's fucking hot. We're, this game's going to be in, so cool. He's, and the reason that he knows so much about the game, too, is because he's in like all of it, right? He's in most Yeah, he's in the whole thing. I mean, yeah. he's your Cortana. He's in your head. Your, your yeah, character's so head. Cool. Yeah. It's going to be awesome, dude. Whoa, he's the one. He's in your head. Uh, all right, man. That's uh, that's what we got for E F E three. Uh, three. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It was a pretty good year. But as Phil Spencer said, the head of Microsoft, uh, Xbox himself, uh, it's better when Sony's there. So yeah. he did say that. I, I can't disagree uh, uh, with him. It is better. It's better when all the players are playing. Yeah. Because then there's no, there's more of a reason to compete with each other, like and, and reveal yeah. your best shit when you're not there. It's like, well, Imagine, whatever. Imagine, like, with Sony, Sony would have to do a lot to, like, outperform. I mean, I didn't like everything from Xbox's concert, but its pacing was 
Awesome. Yeah, its pacing was as good as last year's, where it was just like an hour and a half of just game, 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 game. They did do game, this last like, year. Yeah, they yeah. did a similar thing last year. But but I, last I feel like the year before, yeah. last like, year was I mean, like just a shit ton of games, and then the year before that was when the last time that they did uh, Xbox One X, and like it was just nothing but console bullshit, and you're like, yeah, where right. are all the well, games? P- PS4 had a rough year last year, too, because they were like, all right, now we're moving everybody from one theater to the next one, yeah, and we're going to sit here and talk rough. awkwardly yeah. for 15 minutes while they move, and I'm like... This was not organized well at yeah. all. <laughs> <laughs> but it looks like this is church from The Last of Us Part 2. I don't know if... You we know. really wanted the ambience. I'm like, uh, <laughs> shut up, guys. Yeah, No wonder y'all didn't come back. I wasted a shit ton of money on 17 yeah. different venues for stupid games. You had to games. move an entire crowd of fucking people. <laughs> yeah, man, right. Ridiculous. All the staff that had to come with, like, guiding everybody. <laughs> like, so, so stupid. So... And it's crazy, because the year before that, they fucking killed it. And then the year before that, they fucking killed it. So it's just wild, Like, I, they just, sometimes, uh, when Sony starts winning... They just lose their way. They're like, we're fucking winning, baby. We got dumb ideas now, baby. (laughs) (laughs) We're going to try because we're on top. We can take a couple bumps, you know? And then they still showed like three games that were like the best showing of three last year. Like, that's what I'm missing right now is like, I want to see more of that game right now. (laughs) I want to see that game. I want to inject that in my fucking veins. I am almost 100% certain that's coming out next year because next gen starts next year and they want to push these fucking games out quick. Yeah, I think so too. That's my opinion. I think, I think every game that we know of right now that didn't say that it was next gen it is definitely coming out before October of next yeah. year. Like so. uh, the reason that Death Stranding, well, I do feel like Death Stranding is done. Um, I, I feel it, like that they're pushing it out this year because they have a plan. Like I feel like they do have a plan for the next, the that one, Last of Us Two, and Ghost of Shima. They're they're definitely like okay, we have to like stagger these releases and get it done before PS5 or whatever strong. you want to call it. Well, and strong and the and, yeah. and the generation strong. Right. Don't let it pet- peter out. Like three, like PS3 generation pittered out. You know, it's just like yeah, that last year that was here. just like yeah. what the fuck came out that year. Um. So yeah, I mean, I'm it's gonna be good. We're in good hands. Yeah. No loading. And, and for Hashtag Xbox, no loading. Uh, Xbox is never really uh, the one. Never really come on. It never really did anything. So I feel like with the next gen with them buying all these studios, that's when they're going to be like, okay, we're going to actually have like launch titles and shit like that. Like, I mean, I feel like that's when Xbox is finally going to fucking kick it in high gear in terms of oh, yeah, their exclusives. I hope so. God, I hope so. Otherwise all those t- buying studios is fucking why buy, why buy all these awesome yeah. talented studios and fuck and, them all up. And why you know? change your, the title of your department to Xbox <laughs> game studios? Like, <laughs> like yeah, why right, bother right. doing any of that? If you're not going to be Spencer, you lied to us. How could you? <laughs> Oh, shit. Anyway, uh, that's been the episode. I think the next episode we're uh, that's kind of like just lined up with the schedule-wise is uh, mid-year top fives. Um, oh, wow. Oh, yeah. Across oh, all. wow. We'll do. I know, Across right? We're already there. Wow. Yeah. So we have... Uh, I, do, I do not like my top five right now. Top five anything, games. So. I don't like them at all. Uh, TV is the only one I'm like, yeah, these TV shows, yeah, go TV, watch them, everybody. Oh, dude, TV is going to be an awesome combo. Dude, yes. So. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so top five TV uh, games and uh, movies, and movies have been like, what the fuck, guys? Come on, push out, push out good movies. Um, We're getting I, there. I'm still waiting I just, for I there. There. one movie that I'm, we'll be talking about for the rest of my life. Dude, to come I'm out. still waiting for that Can one movie one? to come out that I pressure you guys. To, I get on your fucking case to watch, like, and I still haven't come across that movie yet. You're you know like, yeah, I mean? watch it. I don't know if you have time. I'm like, oh, God, that's not really a fucking glowing endorsement. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like under the Silver Lake is like you guys should really watch it, but like it's it's a little it's bit hard to recommend like, it. You guys, yeah, it's hard really, to recommend yeah, it to yeah, anybody. Yeah. yeah, and Climax too is similar. Like I I would I watch it, but like, I really like warning, Climax. You know? But yeah, yeah. I'm, not, I'm not recommending that movie to anybody. Yeah. <laughs> I gotta I gotta get on that one. But where's that one movie that like you're like guys? Ah, you know, like that yeah, one. I don't, I, where's the blind Endgame. spotting? You know. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's just been you fucking Endgame. Game yet? What's wrong with you? Ah! <laughs> Seriously, there was somebody on Twitter that was like, saw the uh, spoilers on Endgame. That saw the uh, the the what's it called? Uh, the the petition to bring back Tony Stark, and she goes, yeah. "Well, now the end, the ending of Endgame spoiled for me." And I'm like, "It's fucking June. What are you yeah, doing? It's too late. It's too <laughs> late. Sorry. It's your fault. Your fault. You don't, you don't get to dictate this." <laughs> Oh, God. Anyway, but that's probably going to be our next episode lined up because just the way the timing works. I'm going out of town next weekend, and then after that, it's almost July. So it just oh, makes yeah. sense to do the top five next. Oh, yeah. It's happening. Yeah, I, no, we got to get through the other uh, fucking topics <laughs> for 2019. Yeah, we need to start burning through these. Yeah. So. Uh, we will. I'm sure we will. It'll happen. Uh, it, it's going to happen. Guys, it's coming. Dragons coming. are coming. Everyone, they're coming. <laughs> 
a lot of them are going to die. A lot of them are going to die really quick, but yeah. uh, you know, there'll yeah. be one, you know, for sure. 100%. It's coming. It's going to be crumbled by fucking rocks, but it's coming. And yeah. when the other two die, the other one's going to get exponentially stronger somehow. So, it'll be fine. <laughs> it'll be fine. <laughs> Uh, all right, so uh, that's been us, and you can find us on Twitter at uh, EOC Pod, and uh, we're on Spotify now too. Go find us there, and iTunes or Apple Podcasts, whatever they fucking call it, um, wherever podcasts are sold. <laughs> They're not sold, <laughs> <laughs> but wherever you can find podcasts, that's where you can find us. Uh, we'll be right Family back after this, after this ad break. No, I'm just kidding. Imagine doing an ad break right before you say goodbye. Oh, uh, fucking in, an end roll ad break on yeah, a podcast. And, and everyone, if you'll just stick around after we talk about Pampers, <laughs> so they just turn it off. They're like, fuck these people. Yeah. Who's our, who's our sponsor this week? The uh, Titty Tassel guys? Uh, Those Titty guys? Tassel guys, yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. Uh, cool. They are um, the uh, also the producers of the Click Clamp. So, um, titty Tassels. Right. Yeah, yeah. So they're all in house with uh, titillating your nether regions. That's good. That's, that's what they specialize in. You're not a no no region stimulation. You're not a no no That's that's my favorite. Whenever podcast hosts say that, take it from us, okay? Take we wouldn't us. even recommend this unless I would recommend that, that click unless clamp, they were unless I tried it. Yeah, yeah. Unless I tried it, and I know these titillating titty tassels are just the best things you can <laughs> you can own in your life more than yeah, your that phone. Paycheck, yeah. That paycheck better uh, be big. Oh my god, it better be those those uh, those royalties, code, man. EOC pod on these nuts. I don't know. Yeah. I don't right. know. Make like That'd the longest code ever. Nobody's going to remember it. Yeah. Uh, anyway, Six so um, right. thanks for tuning in. That's a weird ending, but uh, thanks for tuning in, everybody. We'll see you next time on the Bye. 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 Bye.